Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Good morning, my wonderful friends. Welcome to Thursday Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. And this morning, I thought we'd start with a little bit of culture. It's World Poetry Day. So I'm going to start this morning with a poem. <laughs> it's called It's Your Quilt by Nancy Riddell. And I just think it's wonderful for World Poetry Day. It's okay if you sit on your quilt. It's okay if your bottle gets spilt. If you swallow some air and you burp, don't despair. It's okay if you spit on your quilt. There are scraps, old and new, in your quilt. Put together for you on your quilt. If your gums feel numb, cause your teeth haven't come, it's okay if you chew on your quilt. We expect you to lie on your quilt. It's if you're hurt, you may cry on your quilt. On a cold, rainy night, don't you fret, you're all right. You'll be snug, warm and dry on your quilt. Isn't that lovely? I just thought that was a great poem and a lovely way to start today's Sewing Street. Right, let's start as we really ought to with our early bird. <laughs> Ah, super. Right. Our early bird today is a bundle of three half metres of fabric, two K facet and a beautiful coordinating solid. Have a look at these. This is absolutely perfect for, I think, making a bag. This is the brand new KF collection fabrics. Look at these. These are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? It's our early bird, should be 1977. Today, you're gonna to pay 15.98. You've got that half meter of pink solid for free. Now, have a look at this. I think this would make an absolutely gorgeous bag, wouldn't it? I'd make a lovely bag out of this. I'd maybe, in fact, you could probably get two bags out of this. I'd do a two-tone outer with maybe a little hint of this pink on the outer and then line it. And then you could flip all of those values in a second quilt. Maybe a little bit of something like this sort of bag or something like this sort of bag, but made in the gorgeous cave. It's a lovely kind of pastel version, isn't it? I've now got fewer than 20 already, my goodness me. That's a quick start. Um, fewer than 20 already. Uh, I've only got uh, the, uh, I've got three half meters, sorry, three half meters. Uh, here's the one. Let me open this up. Just to let you know, guys, Facebook isn't on my iPad at the moment. Um, it's, it's, it's old. It's old. It's so yesterday. <laughs> it's so yesterday. You've got your second K facet half meter. That's fabulous, isn't it? It's almost like Harlequin or Granny Squares. And then you've got your half meter of baby pink solid, and that's completely free. Pam's got in touch. Good morning, lovely Stuart. 
fabulous poem. Did you like that? Uh, Claire says, good morning, Stuart and all. Good morning, my lovely. Pat says, good morning. Love you from Blackpool. Hello, my darling. Tracy's got in touch to say, good morning, everyone. Have a great day, Stuart. Jan says, morning, Stuart and everyone. Love the cave pastels. A bit different, aren't they? We're all used to seeing caves really sort of bright, gorgeous, deep, rich colours, but pastels, absolutely lovely. Now, Quick hint, we've got single figures left of this bundle. You're saving the price of your half meter of pastel pink. You're just paying for your two half meters of cave. 15.98, it's a fantastic price. I'd make a couple of bags out of this. What would you do? Maybe a little baby quilt, that would be cute. I've got single, low single figures left. Coin purses, that would be cute. What about some quilted slippers? Hello, passport cover, I like the sound of that. A little travel bag, a little travel bag would be nice. All sorts you could do with this. You could make a lovely little wall hanging. You could make a lovely little um, baby quilt, a crib quilt out of three half meters. That would be super. And you wouldn't have to do a lot either. Just celebrate those beautiful colors, those beautiful designs. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. About to sell out. I'm going to fold everything up and away. <laughs> well done if you got yours. Great way to start the day. Morning, Stuart. Lovely springy fabric. Ah, oh, Catherine in Derbyshire. Thanks for that. Did you like the poem? Morning, Stuart. Looking good as always. Loved the poem. Ah, oh, thank you, Michelle. Lots of love to all the team. Ah, oh, they're feeling the love this morning. They're feeling the love this morning. Ah, oh, that is lovely. Oh, gosh, they're all singing to me now. It is in your eyes. Burr, burr, burr. Gorgeous, gorgeous. We do poems, we do music, but we also have a gorgeous website. This is how to shop with us. You could call our call center, couldn't you? 0800 001 you can email us. We love your emails. Studio at sewingstreet.com. We'll just do whatever you do, Chris. Don't worry. Our director, Chris, is all. Yes, there's our Facebook, Sewing Street TV. Wonderful. And also our website, www.sewingstreet.com. And then once you get there, if you click on Watch Live, you can send us a little message through the website. We love your messages. Do please send them in. Otherwise, I get very lonely. Don't leave me with just the gallery, please. I implore you. Um, <laughs> and then you can scroll down now. My goodness me. I have got a brand new collection. Look at this. Look at this. It's called Secret Garden. I want to, I, well, I was going to say I want to live in that caravan, but I don't particularly want to live in that caravan. But I'd like to maybe have an overnight in that caravan. Uh, oh, look at this panel. Look at this panel. There are coordinates. It's magical. It is absolutely magical. Impressionistic. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Is that glitter? It's beautiful. Um, and then we've also got a beautiful Dan Morris collection as well. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. It's so cute sort of watercolour painted effect. It's beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Can't wait to show you that. Steph's got in touch. Morning, Stuart, king of sewing. If you were a queen, I would be bowing. Your knowledge of thread and wonderful thing. You brighten our days, especially when you sing. Arise, Sir Stuart of the Sewing Street Kingdom. It's a poem for World Poem Day. World Poetry Day. Thank you, Steph. I love that. I love that. Wendy says, good morning, Stuart. Ah, oh, Wendy Gardner. Good morning, my darling. Am I going to see you at the Stitch Festival? It's the Stitch Festival now in Islington at the Design Centre. I'm going to be there on Saturday. I'm going to be hosting the Sewing Bee Fashion Show. Please, if you're in the area, come along to the Design Centre in, in um, London, in Islington, and come to the show. Right, let's get started. Let's get started. Right, we're going to start with this wonderful bundle of fabric. It's called Secret Garden. 
And I'm going to start showing you. You've got a panel and you've got five half meters of coordinating fabric for under 50 pounds. It's 49.94. I think you're going to love this. I love this already. Here's the panel. I'm going to start with this. This is just magical. It's just beautiful. It's like sort of Tom's Midnight Garden in fabric, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Size-wise, we're looking at approximately 16 inches square. You've got a lovely sort of background fabric, so you could cut this, you could make little adjustments there just to get it to the perfect size. Beautiful. So you've got your kind of Tom's Midnight Garden. You've got rather Monet-esque swans on, a, on a, a lake, maybe with their little babies there. You have got farmhouse with those little ducks and ducklings, uh, beautiful, reflected in the pool. And this is lovely too, look. The little caravan with bunting and the little boat tethered to the side. I mean, just summery, beautiful, gentle. I think it's gorgeous. Donna's got in touch. Morning, Stuart and team. Morning, lovely. Anne's got in touch. Good morning, Stuart. Nice to see you from Anne in Yeovil. Morning, my darling. So you get your panel and then you also get five half meters. I'm going to show you these. I'll just lay them out. Now, I've also got half a poem from Glenys. Why half, Glenys? My quilt is made with love from my heart. You stroke and you look and you start one piece at a time. It's your choice and not mine with a glass of, I'm guessing, wine. Yes, with a glass of red wine. Mine's a Malbec. Glenys, you're a poet. And I think you probably know it. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love it. Uh, get your poems in. What can I say? Let's have a poetry day. Let's have a poetry day. Right, now I'm going to show you the five coordinating fabrics. I'm going to start with this middle one. This again is giving me that kind of midnight garden. That's divine. You get half a metre of that. You get half a metre of the swans are swimming. Fewer than 20 of the bundle left. Isn't it gorgeous? I haven't seen anything like this in an absolute age. This is fresh. This is new. It's springy. It's summery. What about the little festival caravan? How cute. Now, this, you've got to make something out of this for someone who has a little caravan. Could be a little shopping bag. It could be a little accessory, some cushions. Isn't it lovely? Honestly, anyone who's got a caravan, I think you're going to need this. Um, or just summary. There are your barn owls. Charlie was up a ladder in the hay barn last year, I think it was. And he was right at the top of the ladder and a barn owl flew out. <laughs> and he didn't fall. And then the last one, which is this sort of scenic, which I'm absolutely in love with. Look at all the detail. The little vegetable patch with the pea sticks, a little swallow. You've got lovely peacock and red admiral. Yeah, butterfly. Is that tortoiseshell butterfly? Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, you've got your greenhouse over there. Absolutely idyllic, isn't it? Absolutely idyllic. There's a little duck in a pond there. Last year, I had a duckling in my kitchen sink. <laughs> That's a little duck. There's a duck. Excuse me. Excuse me. Look. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Everyone in the gallery was like, that's not a duckling, Stuart. That's a black bird. And I was like, come a little closer. Look. Oh, I love that there's a guitar. Look at the side of the caravan. Oh, there's nothing nicer, is there? A little campfire. Play the guitar. Bit of sing song. I love it. I love it. I love anyone who can play an instrument, I just think is a genius and I love them. That is an absolutely gorgeous range. 
Our Steph says it's also National Common Courtesy Day today. It is indeed. Stuart, your shirt is beautiful. It so suits you. Well, as it's courtesy, I would say this anyway. Thank you very much, Steph. That's very kind of you. Uh, it is. It's lovely. Jenny says, good morning, Super Stuart. Love you. Your cheerful start to the day. My health MOT today. I hope you pass. I mean, if you need windscreen wiper blades changing, that's not a big thing, is it? Fingers and toes, my lovely. Uh, and uh, just lovely to read all your messages. Do keep getting in touch, won't you? So your bundle, remember, is four different images on that big panel, five half metres of coordinates, all for under £50. A message, roses are red, violets are blue. You all love fabric and so do I too. Karen, brilliant, brilliant. Love that, love that. And some emoji. You know how much I love an emoji. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, Chris can play the guitar. Is that Chris in the in the director, Chris? Amazing. Where there's direct show me your best strumming. Look at <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, but this panel. Oh, I've got eight mega bundles left up for grabs. If it's in your basket, check out, check out, check out. Now, this panel on its own is available. Isn't it gorgeous? The quality of the fabric's superb. It, and the print quality, the colours are beautiful. Now, cushion. Cushion. What about a wall hanging? This one... This one I would, I would do some little star blocks, pieced different star blocks, perhaps some in the corner here, some in the corner here, and then I would do probably like plain border here and here. So you just had star, like twinkling stars at either side, and then a bit of a bigger border around the outside. That's wall hanging number one. That's wall hanging number one. Uh, this one here, I think what would be nice would be maybe you could have that as a little, that could be um, a wall. I'm just thinking it through now. I'm thinking rail fence blocks or piano key border, all around piano key, I think, border, all around that in lovely soft lilacs and pinks and soft greens and soft yellows and maybe bring in some batiks, something like that would be lovely. Um, this, I mean, you could almost do sort of like, not, not quite seasonal because they're all sort of spring, summer, but you could kind of mix it up, couldn't you? You could have all four wall hangings displayed together. What about on this one? What about on this one, right? Uh, layer up with your batting and backing and then get in there with embroidery floss and add stitch details into all the flowers, little French knots. And, and, you know, add extra flowers in there. That would be so beautiful, done as sort of embroidery. There's a base for embroidery. We have another poem. Start your quilt and have such fun. Break for tea and a sticky bun. I'm there. I'm there. I'm captured. Now it's finished. That was quick. Snuggle under. Made for one or two, I wonder. Oh, Sheena! That was, that was a little bit cheeky, but I loved it. That's gorgeous. I like break for tea and a sticky bun. It's like, I think you might be my spirit animal, Sheena. I love it. I love it. Oh, God, the, the, the snacks have just arrived in the gallery. There's two sausage rolls and a steak bake. I'm not having any of them. I'm on a health drive. Look, let me just... Got my banana because I'm being very, very, very virtuous. <laughs> um, and then this one over here, gosh, wouldn't that be lovely? Just quilted and made up as a cushion, perhaps with some lovely piping or binding around the outside. Lovely. Sheila says, Good morning, Stuart. Good morning, my lovely. Welcome to the show. It is National Poetry Day, so if you've a mind to, Put pen to paper, send us a poem, send us a, um, a limerick. Oh, yeah, I've. <laughs> 
Chris has just reminded me of one of my favorite poems, Peas with Honey. Have you heard it? He goes, I like my peas with honey. I've done it all my life. It makes the peas taste funny, but it keeps them on the knife. I love that. It's great. It is fun. Right, that's the panel. Fourteen ninety nine. What amazing value. What amazing value. Oh, another poem. Mary had a little lamb. She also had a bear. I've often seen her little lamb, but I've never seen her bear. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. She also had a bet. That's brilliant. <laughs> Lovely. Good. Good. We're going to start vetting the poems. Pada, start vetting the poems. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Right. Fabrics by the half metre. Let's start with the night time. The florals. Um, Hannah, our director, straight away said, oh, wouldn't that look gorgeous with denim? Wouldn't that look gorgeous with denim? And yes, wouldn't it just? Team that with some dark denim, some light, some medium. Absolutely beautiful for a bag, a crossbody messenger bag, maybe. A little rucksack, a purse. Beautiful. Love that. This would be really lovely for dressmaking too, wouldn't it? Quarter of the stock went on pre-order. You spotted it too. You have a good eye. Absolutely lovely. Did you spot as well? There are little honeybees throughout the flowers. Do you see them? They're there. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. Really pretty. Painterly. Soft, delicate, but it's vibrant as well. It's just gorgeous. Love the dandelion clocks. Did you used to do that when you were little? What time is it? <sighs> <sighs> Morning, Stuart. You're looking good. Thank you very much. Do I get a poem? Yes, I do. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm all day quilting. How about you? <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, bought the secret garden already. Jacqueline in Cumbria. Oh, happy day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, oh, seven metres of this fabric left. This is brand new. We started with a really good quantity, but this is absolutely beautiful stuff, isn't it? It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Absolutely lovely, that. The owls next. The, oh. Got Anna in my ear going, the owls, the owls. It's about to sell out. I'll show it you quickly. Lush. Absolutely lush. Gorgeous. One and a half metres left. You can also get this in the bundle. I have a few of those left, but not many. Isn't it lovely? It's so magical. Massively oversubscribed for that. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Coffee's just arrived. I love it when Dan's here. He really looks after me. Can we do the cottage garden next? Thank you. I adore this fabric. It's just beautiful. I love, there's so much detail in it. And um, I just think that would be so lovely to make. What about something like um, a kneeler pad for in the garden? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This would also make a smashing border to put around maybe some of the bigger panels. Lovely. Is there a little, is that a, oh, it's a, I see, it's the trunk of a tree and a little birdhouse there. I'm, I'm spotting so many little details in this fabric. There's a little table and chairs here with a little basket. The vegetable patch is definitely ready to harvest, isn't it? I used to have an allotment many, many years ago in, in um, Kings Heath. No, Mosley. It was Mosley. Yeah. Yeah, it was in Mosley. Mm, loved it. 
I loved it. Well, it was more King's Heath. It was bringing, oh, all sorts, peas, runner beans, broad beans, watercress. Um, yeah, and um, there was like a sort of a bit of a, a, a ditch almost that had water running through it. So I planted some watercress in from the supermarket that had sprouted and it actually grew. So that was rather good. Um, yeah, raspberries and strawberries and sweet corn, all sorts of things really. No, it was the good life. Swans next. I grew swans on my allotment, yes. <laughs> And now I don't, I mean, Charlie's very good at growing veg. He grows veg every year, but he's very good at tending them. And I'm a little bit neglectful. So I'm good at planting things, but then I just forget about them and make a quilt instead. A poem about me from Collector in Merseyside. Yes, please. A man called Stuart loves to quilt. He loves his fabric too. He farms and writes and cooks and sews and shares the love with you. Ah, oh, now that's a bit of class. That's a bit of class. Thank you, I love that. Thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Print that one out, please. I want to take that home. <laughs> thank you. Ah, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is vibrant, isn't it? It's almost like it's been done with oil pastels. You know that lovely vibrant colour? Um, absolutely wonderful. It is, it's like a fresh morning walk, the sun shining. I actually got pinned to a park bench by a swan once. I, you know, I'd gone to Stirling University, I was much younger, uh, on like an open weekend, and I'd gone for an early morning work, walk around the loch that's on the campus. And I was sitting there um, on a park bench, kind of looking out at the water, and it was all very beautiful. Next thing, a swan lurched up out of the water, and I was rather too close to its um, babies, and it came over, and it was absolutely, like, flapping its wings. And, uh, yeah, and, and, I, and all I could think of was my dad's warning that, you know, like, swans and geese could break your arm if they decide to whew, strike you. So... I kept very, very still, <laughs> very, very still. I'm laughing because Chris has just been relaying a story, our director Chris, um, about being attacked by a gander when he was very young, which I shouldn't really laugh at, but <laughs> that's gorgeous. Right, everyone, let's be sensible now, come on. Uh, right, caravans, caravans. You see, World Poetry Day, it's all put us in a wonderful mood. It's put us all in a wonderful mood. Everybody loves poetry. Everybody loves a bit of poetry. The caravans, the festival caravan. The little guitar, the deck chair, the bunting. It's just idyllic, isn't it? I would just want one caravan on its own. Yeah, yeah. That's like Glastonbury. <laughs> Is there a little house? Where's the little... Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, look. Isn't that the outside loo? I assume that was the loo. <laughs> Please, can we have some more poems? I love the po I love the poems. I love the poems. I'm so proud of you all for sending in a poem. It could be yours. It could be one you found. I found that one about the, it, it's okay. It's, um, it's okay if you sit on your quilt. Found that on the internet this morning. There's some good poems and you can, you can print that out on a label. I think that's the ID. You print it out on a label and you put it onto the quilt itself because so many people are, you know, we, we know what it's like. You give them a quilt as a gift and they're like, oh, it's too precious to use. You go, no, please use it. I don't want you to put it in a cupboard. I want you to cuddle it. I want you to, you know, spill things on it. And when you're poorly, you grab it around you. And that's what we want. I have a friend who's a quilt teacher and, she, and whenever people say, oh, my points don't match very well, she always says to me, says, oh, it'll be fine when there's a bit of gravy spilt on it, you won't even notice, <laughs> which I think is great advice. Right, shall we move on to the Dan Morris? 
Oh, Mega Bundle one more time. Yes, indeed, indeed. So the Mega Bundle is under £50. It's brand new. I think this is a, a stonking deal, actually. You get the beautiful sort of midnight garden. You get half a meter of that. You get half a meter of the owls. I think that's now sold out on its own, hasn't it? So only way you can get it, only way you can get it in the bundle. You've got festival caravans delish you've got swans are swimming very beautiful and you've also got the gorgeous scenic that's also sold so this is sold out this is sold out this is sold out single figures on the bundle very very low very low single figures and you also of course get your panel included in the bundle and let me just show you the full panel it is absolutely gorgeous you've got the garden at midnight with the house love that so much you've got the swans with the little babies you've got oh another poem uh, the farmhouse by the water and you've got the beautiful i love that there is a man who can sew Stuart. it is as we know he also has goats who eat lots of oats and wear Stuart's hand-sewn coats ta-da love jade i love it i love it i love it my goat, if I put a coat on my goat, they'd eat it. <laughs> they'd take it off by eating it. <laughs> they are, they are lovely. My goats absolutely love whatever I'm wearing, especially one, Lottie, who was my first ever kid born on the farm. She's like my little baby, um, even though she's had kids of her own now. But she comes up and I always, I can always feel her before I see her because she starts nibbling on my coat or my trousers. She's particularly keen on my knees for some reason. No idea why. Now you can also get the panel on its own. You can get the panel on its own. And there's a huge amount of possibilities in this panel. You could have it as one big wall hanging and you could just trim the edges. I would put a little border on and I would look at maybe something like a batik or a, I mean, if you're going for the bundle, of course, you could actually have this sort of fabric as a border down this side and across the bottom and then go into this fabric across the bottom and up the side. Do you see what I mean? So the, the borders met. You could even have me have a little bit of piecing at the corners or where they met. Love it, absolutely beautiful. I'd, I'd love to get my hands on this collection and do something with it. I think it's gorgeous. Another message. When I went to Stirling Uni, the swans were forever attacking. I'm glad it wasn't just me, Anne. Uh, especially in the restaurant, I've seen many people with their shirts ripped off. Oh my goodness, Anne. Um, yeah, I, I got away lightly then. I just stayed very still and sort of looked like no threat. I was like... And eventually the swan calmed down and went off and then I scarpered. Um, but I still, I love going back. <laughs> Lovely. I, I still love going back to Stirling University. I go back every couple of years and I teach on a retreat there. It's lovely. It's lovely. Another message. Oh, oh, here we go. This is from Barbara in Surrey. I suspect this is a poem. Once I saw a little worm, a wriggling on its belly. Perhaps it wants to come inside and see what's on the telly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Spike Milligan? Yes, yes. I read that wrong at first. I thought it was Sarah Milligan. <laughs> I didn't know she did poems. Uh, Barbara, Barbara, fabulous. Ah, thank you for reminding us of the wonderful Spike Milligan. You know, on his gravestone, it says, I told you I was ill. <laughs> love it. Love it. Right. Now can I do the Dan Morris? Yay. I really, really, really love this. I've got a bundle. You save five pounds. We're limited on this bundle already. It's luscious. It's absolutely, it's so soft and gentle. The colors are 
divine, you're saving five pounds, you get eight half meters and two panels. I'm going to start by showing you the two panels. The artwork on this fabric is exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. Look at, I mean, just the border in between. It's different. Oh, look. It's all rabbits and hares. Look. Oh. It's absolutely stunning. It's almost, it's almost got a Celtic look to me. Do you know what I mean? I don't know why. It's almost Celtic looking. I think these are absolutely stunning. You get uh, 12 different images on this panel here. Absolutely scrumptious. Your second panel Oh, I need this. I need this. Oh, oh, look. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a rabbit. E-I-E-I-O. With a, oh, what noise do rabbits make? They don't, do they? They just go. And a, uh, uh. actually, if they get frightened, they go like, Arr! it's awful. Yeah. No, anyway, 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 moving on, moving on. Look. Chickens, chickens. What about quails? What noise do quails make, everyone? <laughs> little, <laughs> little chick, a little duck, little rabbit. Ducky doodah. Uh, oh, there's a cockerel. What noise does a cockadoodle do do? Cockadoodle do. Oh, little lamb. Little lamb. Meh. Oh, how stunning. It's stunning. Right, that's your second panel. And then, single figures already. And then you've got your coordinates, which are just so beautiful. So let me show you, you've got your floral in like a deep green. Do you see, it's almost like clamshells. Can you see the clamshells there? <laughs> Beautiful. You've got... So soft, isn't it? Coral, toffee. Little, I mean, Farm animals in baskets, adorable. Um, you've got that on a green as well. I think I might have fallen in love with this collection. Oh, lovely. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness, I've only got three of this bundle remaining. The coordinates, the, the tonals, absolutely gorgeous. Soft, kind of the softest egg yolk kind of caramel same one in a green it's almost batiki looking isn't it they're digitally printed so the color the clarity is just gorgeous i love the sewing street family they make us feel like friends my bank manager isn't keen though the spending never ends i realized that was a poem halfway through karen Brilliant, brilliant. I love the Sewing Street family. They make us feel like friends. My bank manager isn't keen though. The spending never ends. <laughs> oh, Karen, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Two bundles left, uh, mushrooms and fun guy. He's a fun guy. Oh, isn't it lovely? They're like little, yeah, look, that's a little house, look. Tiny, tiny house with a little window. I have a wonderful friend, Linda Seward, who is an amazing quilter, an amazing quilting author. She's written some amazing books, but she's also recently 
been um, asked to become one of the members of the British Mycological Society. She's an expert on fungi and mushrooms as well. She's absolutely fascinating. She's absolutely brilliant. I love her to bits. Um, chicks. Oh. It's making me all clucky, this range. I love it. I love it. How many bundles do I have left, Hannah? Two left. Just two bundles left. And then it's gone. A poem. I stitch and sew, stitch and sew, and yet my stash still can grow. <laughs> and you've hit it on the, at the head there. You make a scrap quilt. You start with five bags of scraps. You make the scrap quilt and you end up with seven bags of scraps. Am I right? Uh, this bundle's absolutely gorgeous. But there are some fabrics you just never, ever want to use up, aren't there? There are some fabrics so beautiful, you just keep them down to the last thread. Oh, Candy, your poem's been cut off at the end. There was a young man named Stuart who urged us all to just do it. Love, love, love it. And... Don't leave me standing. <laughs> Candy, email back in. We need to know the rest. We need to know the rest. Just do it. I love the urgency. Have I got one left? Two panels, two panels. Just look though again. So lovely. So lovely. And these little... Do we have any of these individually, Hannah? We do, gorgeous, right, okay. Pop that to one side for now. Small. Let's do baby small first. Oh, I've got one panel left. One of those left. Oh, please let me have it. <laughs> it's sold out. No, Stuart, you can't have it. I can still get it in the bundle, okay. Rabbits, there's one of these left. Do you know, our buyers do an amazing job. Can I just say, well done to the buyers, because you spot some amazing fabrics and we just have some brilliant stuff. Love this. Love this. Brilliant. One left. Be quick. Be quick. Be quick. Now, um, individual fabrics. Individual fabrics. Can we do the little chick? please. I love this. The little chicks are so cute. Now I think this made me straight away think of baby quilts. You know, you're, for your little chick. For your little baby chick. And um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about if you can't get all the coordinates. Because actually you could use this as your base fabric. And I would do something just like a simple nine patch. I would have these as alternate blocks in between, plus an outer border. And then I would choose just really soft, pastely batiks and solids or tone on tones. Just real gentle, soft tonals or plain fabrics. But I would have this as a feature fabric in the quilt. You could also, of course, I think, use this for Easter gifts. Little gift bags with Easter eggs in or a little alternative Easter gift. You could do little egg cozies. A liner for an egg basket would be gorgeous. That was Director Chris's suggestion. Well done, Director Chris. I like that. Pam says, smiling is infectious. You catch it like the flu. When someone smiled at me today, I started smiling too. I walked around the corner and someone saw me grin. When he smiled, I realised I had passed it on to him. I thought about the smile and then realised its worth. A single smile like mine could travel round the earth. So if you feel a smile begin, don't leave it undetected. Start an epidemic and get the world infected. Ah, oh, that's Spike Milligan, isn't it? That's absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. Pauline Wheeler's got in touch to say, hey, lovely, I'll see you later, and I've made chocolate cake. 
That's a brilliant poem, Pauline. It didn't rhyme, but it was a good try. Well done. Uh, next up, we've got a poem about Hannah, who's also from Kate. Well done, Kate, from Merseyside. You're on a roll today. She says, a girl called Hannah loves to travel, see the sights and feel the air. She's known for being super bright and also for her curly hair. That is genius. That is genius. You're made up, aren't you, Hannah? She just said, no one's ever written a poem about me before. Well, today is your day. Today is your day. That is brilliant. And I, I absolutely love the, the rhythm of that. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. I think we need to have World Poetry Day more often. Now, let's change to another fabric. Yes, indeed. 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 Right. Yes, rabbits in baskets. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> stop it, stop it. I'm getting all these poems in my ear. It is so distracting. Stop it. $7.99 for this, half a metre. <laughs> oh, what a lot of fun, though. Julie from Lancashire says, there is a young man called Stuart who tells us how to do... I love the young. I'm, I'm taking young man. There is a young man called Stuart who tells us how to do it. He has a good laugh while sharing his craft and, and, and guides us all through it. Hooray! Ah, oh, Julie, that's brilliant. Thank you. Keep it young. Keep it young. Loving it. Loving it. We're getting some very saucy poems. We may not be able to read all the ones, not if they include. <laughs> no, goodness me. Rabbits in baskets, rabbits in baskets. They are every single one of the, I mean, the artwork on these is absolutely stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful artwork. Look. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 7.99 a half metre. I want to do, you know, like you can make liners for baskets, picnic baskets and storage baskets, things like that. Lovely. Same fabric on green. You could upcycle some old baskets or even I've seen, actually, there are some YouTube tutorials where you can take like a cardboard box and cover it with wadding and then fabric panels. And next thing it's transformed into something that looks just beautiful. Um, so many fun things you can do with fabric. There was a young man called Stuart who told everyone, just do it. Cover a cardboard box. The finished thing will really rocks. That didn't work, but at least it rhymed. <laughs> gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Can we do these two lovely coordinating? These are absolutely stunning, really popular as well. Let's do the green one first because I've only got three and a half meters left, which is for nothing. Um, that's a sage. Sage green. Oh, Jenny Jackson's got in touch. Morning, Jenny Jackson. She says, morning. Good morning, handsome. It doesn't rhyme, Jenny, but I will take it. Good effort. Good effort. Um, if you want to message in, Jenny, it has to be in poem form. <laughs> I'm afraid. Sorry. Sorry. I don't make up the rules. It's World Poetry Day. Carol says, the moon's a big white football. The sun's a pound of butter. The world is going round the twist and you're a little nutter. <laughs> Love it. Right. OK. Uh, gorgeous sage green. Gorgeous sage green. <laughs> I don't know. A message from Hayley in Buckinghamshire. Such beautiful new collection. This morning I have used. Oh, no, sorry. It's not a poem. Oh, beg your pardon, Hayley. Uh, such a beautiful new collection, uh, such beautiful new collections this morning. I have used up my monthly allowance in one morning. Well done, guys and gals. And there's an emoji. Thank you very much for that. Well, 
I always say, don't, don't have that regret. We've all had fabric regret, haven't we? Where we've all said, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not, and, then you, and then it torments you forever. I do that. Well, I don't do that all the time because if I see fabric that I absolutely fall in love with, I have the fabric, I have the fabric. Because there's enough horrible things going on in the world, aren't there? I think if I see something lovely that makes my heart sing, let it sing, let it sing. Gorgeous. That's about to sell out. If you want the last of the sage green, you will have to be really quick. Now, the next colour, same design. This is springtime, isn't it? It's just joyful. What colour is this, Hannah? Maize. Maize. Love that. Maize. Like corn. They're like corn on the cob, isn't it, maize? But calling it corn on the cob isn't as poetic. You can get different colours of corn. You can get black corn and blue. Blue corn? You can get blue corn. Blue corn, blue corn tortillas. No, honestly, they are very, very, they are original. They're like really, yeah. Carrots were black and purple, weren't they? they the, the orange was sort of bred for... I think to celebrate the royal family. No, that's not true about seeing in the dark. No. Carrots don't make you see in the dark. That was put out during, I think, the Second World War. Um, they said that, like, fighter pilots ate carrots so they could see in the dark. And it was to encourage children to eat vegetables, which I think is brilliant. If there are any children watching, carrots do really, really make you see in the dark. They do actually make you see in the dark. Yeah. I think it might have been to cover up the fact that radar had been invented as well or something like that. Yeah, it was carrots. It was carrots. Eat up me carrots. I love carrots. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're having a few poems sent in that we can't read out. <laughs> Naughty viewers. Risque viewers. We can't read those out. I'm so sorry. I'd love to. I'd love to. Your electric vaults. Right, <clears throat> floral, floral. This is pretty, isn't it? Gorgeous. Little bit arts and crafts, this, isn't it? Oh, I want to read that. Can I do that? But without just, but without saying that word. Can I, without saying, right, I'm going to read this one. Okay. Oh, you can't put it out. You'll have to feed me the line then. Mary had a little lamb. Don't do this to a lamb for real. Mary had a little lamb. She tied it to a pylon. 10,000 volts went up its and turned its wool to nylon. <laughs> <laughs> well, poetry. Now, can I just remind everybody, I would just like to say, I started off this morning with a really classy poem, and now you're all getting a bit risque and a bit rude, honestly. <laughs> Maureen sent in a poem. Here's a poem by Brian Bilston. You took the last bus home. Don't know how you got it through the door. You're always doing amazing stuff. Like the time you caught the train. <laughs> That's really clever. That's really clever. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I've only got three metres of this one left. I've only got three metres of this one left. Very, very lovely. Do you know what? We never did the menu. We never did the menu. We never did the menu. We'll do it at the end of the hour. It's great, isn't it? It's taken me 54 minutes to realise that. Mushrooms. Lovely mushrooms. Mushrooms. 
beautiful mushrooms. And green floral to finish. 790, oh, sorry, upside down. 790 and a half meter. I just want to have this on the back of a quilt and then I want to use the design to quilt. Quilt from side to side and from side to side and you'll end up with clamshells stitched out on the front without any marking, without any effort at all. Gorgeous, 799 and a half meter, fab. Now, the whole collection, the whole collection, I've only got one of these bundles remaining. I've only got one of these bundles remaining. You get eight different half meters. You also get the two panels. This can't be remade. This bundle can't be remade. This is your last chance small images and then you've got the larger that are all rabbits and hares absolutely glorious the secret garden bundle single figures left on this <clears throat> Again, this bundle can't be remade because lots of the half meters have sold out. In fact, all of the half meters, apart from swans, um, have sold out um, individually. So remember on this one, you get the panel. Panel is available on its own, by the way, if you want it, but absolutely glorious, about 16 inch squares. Then you also get your half meters these are no longer available on their own. This one has sold out. There's a little bit of this left, but not much. That one's sold out. This one's sold out. But you get these in your bundle. Five half meters plus your panel. It's sort of morning, noon, early evening, and nighttime, don't you? Gorgeous. Gorgeous stuff, yeah. Really lovely, really lovely. Um, last chance on that one as well. 49.94. Ah, <sighs> what a fun start to the day. Shall we do the menu and see what's coming up? Come on, let's do the menu. Here on Poetry Time. <laughs> 9 a.m. We've got the raindrop cushion with Sally Ann Harrison. It's brand new. It's a plique. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's after the break. At 10 o'clock, Village Fabrics are here. It's Yvonne Makitamni, of course, with the second month of Impressions of Japan. Uh, at 11 o'clock, Sally Ann's back with the Liberty Shoe uh, quilt and pincushion and the flower basket pincushion. That's three dimensional. It's absolutely wonderful. And then at 12 o'clock, we have got perfect cushions. We will also have in that 12 o'clock hour, my Blue Skies and Nutmeg fabrics. Uh, which we will have, which are amazing value. I've got loads of lovely projects to share with you made from Blue Skies and Nutmeg. So make sure that you stay tuned at 12 o'clock for those. Right, we are going to go to a little break now. When we come back, we're going to be very, very sensible. We're well, not really. And uh, see Sally Ann Harrison with the first of two shows. See you after this. <laughs> Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m., and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. 
Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products, we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Hello there, good to have you company on Thursday Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard and my guest today is Sally Ann Harrison. Welcome back to the show, Sally Ann. It's brilliant to be here. Absolutely. Like ages fantastic. since I was in. It's such a long yeah. time and it's ages since I've seen yeah, you I too. Know. You've done a book launch since I last saw you. Yeah, that's well, been great. Very well yeah. done, absolutely wonderful. Sally Ann's here for two hours today. We're going to be starting with a brand new project it's called the raindrop cushion this is absolutely adorable look at this i just you know what i love projects where you can put yourself into the picture you know because who's this person is it your son or daughter is it your mom is it you as a child you know i just i think that's very cleverly designed little puppy dog there looking up adoringly or maybe there's a snack behind <laughs> that umbrella who knows but it's just gorgeous love the detail foundation piecing in the parasol in the umbrella free motion applique some lovely stitched detail in there as well pom-pom trim and wait till you see the back how gorgeous is that i love it when every single part of a project is special and beautiful absolutely gorgeous Right, let's see how you can get involved. That kit, look at the price, $26.99, and that includes the pattern. All your fabric, let me show you. So here's the brand new pattern. It's the Liberty Raindrops cushion featuring Maisie the dog. <coughs> Maisie is my son's puppy. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. First, first um, little bit of fame for the Maisie dog? Um, yes, definitely. Very good. Hopefully Very good. she's watching. Hopefully, she is. <laughs> She's probably not still Maisie enough. Maisie dog. Maisie. Maisie. 
Come on. <laughs> Come on, Maisie. <laughs> I'm not going to say the W word. <laughs> no, that gets them far too excited. That would be cruel. Oh, Maisie Duck, Maisie Duck. Oh, and then look at the lovely Liberty fabrics that you have got. Fat eights, you get 12. Are you kidding me? It's $26.99. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, single figures. Single figures, there's some Tana Lawn in there. We've got some solid little red Wellington boots. There's Maisie Dog. There's the shorts. Even look, uh, one of my most coveted fabrics, the black and white stripe. Can't get enough of it. No, I can't either. Brilliant, love yeah, it. It's brilliant. You get all of that fabric, including your meter as well, a meter of your calico for the backing, plus all those fat eights, 12 fat eights. That's the equivalent of, is that a metre and a half of fabric? 12 fat eights. Eight fat eights is a metre and four is half. That's a metre and a half of Liberty and a metre of calico and a pattern for $26.99. <laughs> Be quick is all I'm saying. Be quick. Amazing. Single figures on that bundle. How gorgeous. That's the one that my sample's made out of. So just to give you one apart last look. Apart from the look. legs. Apart from the legs. Yeah, like we didn't have the, the black and white stripe at that yeah. time. But the, slight, yeah, bare, slight variation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, right. Okay, second bundle, blues. Lovely, lovely. You know I love blue fabrics. So you've got your meter of calico, okay. A metre of calico, absolutely beautiful. Or is this seeded natural cotton? We'll just have a quick look. I think it might be natural seeded cotton, yeah. Um, you've got your pattern, brand new pattern. And of course, you're going to make a cushion, but I also think this would be fabulous on a bag, on the front yes. of a bag. I think this would be gorgeous as a little wall hanging. Yeah. You could add some pretty squares or patchwork around the outside. So a good pattern to have in your stash. Now, of course, we've got Wellington boots. We've got Maisie dog. We've got shorts and we've got stockings as standard. But then here are our fabrics for the amazing parasol or umbrella. And again, Liberty. The value is incredible. I can't believe the, the value in these kits. Look at this. Emily Bell? Is this one Emily Bell? Yeah. Emily Bell. I think it's something else. I think it's... Is there Liberty Wiltshire in there? There's Wiltshire yeah. Shadow. Sorry, Wiltshire Shadow, yeah. And this one, I think, is something garden. Is it? Anyway, I... So, Viewers, please help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. China blues, just gorgeous, isn't it? Like Delft, like uh, Cornish wear, mm. just gorgeous and fresh. It's those wonderfully fresh, warm blues, isn't it? But then you've also got those lovely little red boots. There's Maisie Dog, the shorts. That's a lovely mottle. And your stripe. Now, um... Sally Ann, a fat eighth. Yeah. Loads of fabric. Loads of fabric there. I get I get 12 fat eights and I just I'm making the parasol. Yeah. I'm gonna have leftovers. Yeah, I use some of the leftovers on the, the fancy zipper. Yeah, you yeah. can of course use some there. But I'm just thinking But you're, you're gonna have oodles. Twenty six ninety nine. This is possibly the best opportunity to get twelve fat eights of Liberty fabric ever. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, not twelve. You get, you get, you beg your pardon. You get, you get seven of your your fat cords, and then you get your you get your um, fat eights. Sorry, eight of those, and then you get your others. I'm wondering if you could make two. If I got some more natural seeded cotton, yeah, could make a pair. You get such a lot of lovely fabric. You get such a lot of lovely fabric. And I'm just thinking anyone who's bought Sally Ann Harrison's book, uh, Elevate Your Scraps, you are going to have some scraps left over that you could put into another of your favourite Sally Ann Harrison designs, couldn't you? 
Yeah, yeah. All within a twenty six ninety nine kit price. I think that is incredible value. A brand new pattern. Loads of lovely techniques in there as well, which Sally Ann's going to take us through. Over half the stock's gone too. You will need to be quick on this. You've got all your fabrics that you need. Are absolutely gorgeous. Brilliant. Brilliantly put together. Uh, we never do fat eight. The blues also will be the demo umbrella, so I'm going to show oh, you. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Great. Yeah. We'll get to see how the blue looks. Smashing. Now, just need to let you know, we've already had a sellout. So the original, this version right here, that has now sold out. Well done if you got yours. I will take that away so as not to torment anybody with that. <laughs> Here is what you could have won. There we go. Right. <laughs> you remember that? Right. <laughs> and then we've got a third kit. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty. This is pinks and lilacs. So there's your background. Seeded natural cotton. You've got as standard legs, shorts, maize and little red boots and then look at these lovely eight fat eights of liberty oh these are the prettiest these are definitely the prettiest gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i can't think of when we've ever had liberty fat eights on air and i'm absolutely amazed you've got a whole meter of liberty there a whole meter of Liberty in eight fat eights. You've got four fat eights of coordinates to do your other appliques. So that's one and a half meters and then a full meter. So you've got two and a half meters of fabric in your kit, plus a brand new pattern from Sally Ann Harrison for $26.99. Super, absolutely gorgeous. Fabulous. Right. OK. Now, if you'd like the pattern on its own, multi techniques in this pattern, lots of little different steps to really keep your interest, sally -Ann. Yes, lots. Of, so I regard it as being a little bit of a skill builder because there's some different techniques in this. There's the foundation piecing. There's the fusible web applique. We're going to do a little bit of free motion as well. And then there's the fancy zipper on the back. Um, there's a little bit of hand stitching with the spokes on the umbrella. Um, yeah, so lots of different, just yeah. a little taster of little each tasters. one. Yeah. Um, also, uh, lots of options with this one as well, because, I mean, obviously you can piece the umbrella, but you could decide not to piece the umbrella. You can just do a plain umbrella. Yeah. You could also double up on the dogs. You could double up and have two girls under one umbrella. That's a nice idea. Yeah, so there's like lots that. of little options there. Yeah, two umbrellas together. Yes. With, yeah, yeah, loads of options. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, yeah, the more you think about it, the more options there are. Do you want to get the pattern on its own? Details are on screen. It's 9 99 Quarter of the stock's gone on pre-order. You get your full-size template. I know, look. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. You get your full instructions. You get your full tutorial. And it's not just, you know, how to make up, you know, the particular things. It's, you know, it's good skill builders. Like, how do we do foundation piecing? How do we do free motion um, applique? How do we put a zip in to a cushion? It's all there in your pattern. Brilliant skill builder for $9.99. Um, well with a great way of using your scraps too. Now, just so that you know... They're going, you're going wild. You're going wild for this. <laughs> it's absolutely flying out. <laughs> it's absolutely flying out. So if you want to get your pattern, uh, there's a queue on the phone. Apologies for that. Our customer service will get to you as quickly as they can. You can also use the app. You can shop through our website as well. Don't forget that you can, if you already checked out your basket, just combine your baskets at the end. You'll only pay one P&P. Collector in Merseyside says, this price makes no sense. So it's quickly gone in my basket. It's absolutely right. <laughs> absolutely right. You're getting eight fat eights of Liberty. You're getting four more fat eights of coordinates. You're getting a metre of seeded natural cotton. And you're also getting your pattern. I'll show you the pink and lilac bundle again. You get your full metre of your seeded natural cotton. You get your pattern. 
the raindrop cushion from Sally Ann Harrison, featuring me. I like featuring Mace, Mace the, the dog. dog. Special guest star. <laughs> the dog. Then you're getting your eight fat eighths of Liberty Fabrics. Delicious, aren't they? <laughs> Just lovely. So many pieces of fabric there. Look at all that. And then you also get your four fat eights for legs, shorts, Maisie Dog and uh, little red Wellington boots. Um, gorgeous pattern as well to use again and again with your scraps. Yeah, you could use those with your scraps of whatever precious fabrics you've got. Um, pattern on its own, $9.99. Full instructions there, including all the techniques that you'll use. And I like what Sally Ann said, you know, a little bit of lots of different techniques. It keeps your focus, keeps your interest. And I think as well, you know, I sometimes hear from people, I've been there myself, who have sort of lost their sojo. <laughs> I've, I had a period recently where I lost, yeah. I, yeah, and I actually posted on Facebook about it. I, it really did go, and it's sort of like, it's like, oh, it's a bit weird. Troubling, you think, is yeah. it ever going to come back? Is it going to come back? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And sometimes you just need a project with a little bit of everything, Thing. just to kind of tickle your fancy. See, yeah, again. you know, build a little bit of confidence. Exactly, and yeah. exactly. Now, natural seeded cotton on its own, if you're buying instructions on its own, it's the most perfect foil for applique for scrap quilting, oh, I think. Oh, it's great, yeah. Isn't it lovely? Absolutely lovely. And you use a lot of natural seed I cotton do. and calico, I do, don't yeah. you? Yeah. There's something about the sort of slightly rustic with the pretty femininity yeah. of Liberty, isn't there? That's just, it's gorgeous. Yes, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. 379, a half metre. Brilliant. Let me show you. This is a one metre piece, of course. Um, so this is two units, but I think if you're going for the natural seeded cotton, 379, a half metre, get yourself a metre. And then you've got plenty for the front and the back. Now, um, the fat eights for the, the person, the shorts, the legs, the feet and... No, oh nice, amazing. Okay, in a little bundle. Right, this is lovely. This is lovely. So, four fat eights. So, this is half a metre. Half a metre for 389. Wow. So, if you're getting the pattern on its own and you're thinking, I've got all the scraps, but I could really do with legs, Maisie, Wellingtons, and shorts. Brilliant. It's a cool idea, that is. Isn't that yeah. a cool idea? <laughs> Because these perhaps are the tricky ones. Yeah. I, got, I got scraps. Yeah, exactly. I got scraps. But this is maybe the tricky ones. And look, I want that. We said about that earlier, that it's coveted. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So hard to find. Yeah. And then you've got your yellow mottle. That's like a textured, like a mottle. And then you've got, that's for the shorts. And then you've got little red wellies. And you've got your brown for Maisie. Maisie! <laughs> Maisie! <laughs> you could mix these up, of course. You could just stash these for something else. Little stripy dog. Yellow Wellingtons. Oh, a golden retriever. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> Ignore me, Sally. <laughs> 389. See, we're going to have trouble this morning. <laughs> We got giddy over World Poetry Day. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. 389. That's brilliant. Love that. Love that. Um, now, you will need a few other bits and bobs, things like some bond or web. We'll cover those as we go. But if you need any extras, uh, we've got them. Sally Ann, welcome. W wonderful, wonderful project. Good. Where do we start? I really enjoyed making it. Where should it? we start? So, um, you've already talked talk through the patterns the pattern includes the full size templates so if you're going to make the umbrella you know actually foundation piece of the umbrella you're going to need to print it off onto some um, foundation paper yep have you got paper we do we do yeah. carol Dunn's <coughs> foundation paper <coughs> you can run this through your printer yeah you can run you it get a hundred sheets and it doesn't warp it doesn't it tears really easily when you come to remove it you could use regular printer paper yep. if you don't use this, but uh, it is good stuff. And Carol Doak's like the grand dame of foundation she painting, is, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. Carol Doak. 
Or Show me how to paper piece. <laughs> or the other way you can do it is to um, do it onto freezer paper. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, so if you prefer freezer paper, you can use that for foundation piecing as well. I'm not going to um, do a demonstration of the freezer paper, but we'll talk about it. Soon. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cough. Right. So, so I've actually printed it off onto some Carol Doak. So we're going to start here. So here is my printed pattern. If you lay it down flat, flat. that's it, lovely. Okay. So I'm going to start off by selecting a piece for that central. Can you see it's all numbered? Yeah. So it's a little bit different than you would usually because it's a spiral and you're going to spiral out. Mm -hmm. So you might like to think about colours and what colours you're using. So colours that are, so you want to make it darker at the edges, is that right? Because right. this is for, so if you want to try and achieve a little bit more of a 3D effect, okay, um, you want to choose darker colours at the edges and lighter colours in the middle. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, and as I said, it works as a spiral, um, and you just work your way around, starting at one, two, three, four, and it works out that way around. Mm -hmm. All right. So, got with me an add a quarter that I'm going to use. Yep, I've got add a quarter rulers on the show. Add a quarter ruler. This is the 12 inch, I think. It's the 12 inch add a quarter, 17.99. Uh, it has like a lip on it, doesn't it, for, for adding a quarter inch to your seam allowance as you're working. Thank you. Yeah, so I've got add a quarter. I've also got the sew line glue pen mm -hmm. and my trusty bit of card. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to, the thing to remember is that you are going to sew on the printed side and your foundation will build on the reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start off with piece number one. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue behind where I can see piece number one is. And you want to put your fabric right side up. So I've got a piece that's Sally, way too watch big. Watch your head when you lean forward. Okay. You just give me a shot. Thank you. I've got a piece that's way too big. And that's pretty side facing up. Yes. Okay, so then we're going to concentrate on the, the seam between one and two. So I'm going to fold it there, peel it back, crease it. And this is when the add of quarter comes in. Yep. So you just add, and I'm going to trim it off. Just watch your head, Sally, I'm sorry. Okay, that's all right. The, the, <laughs> keep the leaning camera over is it. just literally where you want to be. <laughs> so. Okay, I'll, I'll Perfect. Okay. So you trim that back to a quarter of an inch. Yes. Okay. Then you take your, so I actually cut my fabrics into like two inch strips, one and three quarter inch strips and sort of use them from that point. They're, I know they're going to be too big, but I'd rather have them too big than too small. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Okay. So then you treat to this side and you put them right sides together and you line up that seam. Pins don't want to come out, eh? Am I still getting in the shot or am I further enough back now? Thank you. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Okay. And then on your sewing machine, so let's make sure it's threaded up. Because I just had to adjust this because I got all excited about doing the free motion and forgot that I would be piecing for a second. <laughs> okay, so on your sewing machine, you want to set it to a smaller stitch. And you want to use a, perhaps a bigger needle, like a 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that an 80? Sorry? Is that an 80? Think 80. So. No, I think 14, an 80 is a 12, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. I, I always go 75, 80, ah, 90. Okay. I use the bigger. Okay. Anyway, you want to make a bigger hole. Okay. So I'm just putting in the, actually I'll put it on 01. To list. Back, it? So fabrics right sides together on the back, printed side on the top, and you're going to sew on that line now. Do you want me to come yeah. and help you with the machine? I'm just a bit confused as to what the machine's going to do because I've okay. laid around with it. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, you want a straight one. stitch? Yes, yeah, okay. And you want a shorter stitch length? Yes. 1.8? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to come over and join you for a few minutes. Okay. So I can have a nosy. Isn't it lovely, though, being sort of at the shoulder of someone when they're working and watching what they do? I love that. 
to see how other people work. It's such a treat. So I'm going to take a couple of stitches forward, a couple back to secure it. So you're sewing so directly, directly on, on the printed paper. line. Yeah. I'm going to go back again at the end. So there is my first piece. Mm -hmm. So I would generally iron it at this point, but I'm going to just use a roller. Yeah. So it would then flicks back over that area. Perfect. Okay, so that's the one. So you've covered now the one, two seam. Yeah. So the next seam you want to look at is the one between one and three. Yeah. So again, you're going to take your piece of card. Just your cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So you add, you put your add a quarter, and there's like a little, like a little lip, lip. there, isn't there, that kind of locks. Yes. Yeah. Just trim off. Okay. Look at where the next piece is going to be. So we're going to need a piece here, three. I'm going to turn it over. So you might have to hold it up to the light mm -hmm. to see where where it's you need to line up where you can see number three. I can mm -hmm. just about see it through the paper. Mm -hmm. so I'm just going to put some pins in. Okay, and then I'm going to sew the line between one and three. Yes, and you start and finish literally at the start and finish of the line. Yes, at right, at the, right at the point. Yeah. You might want to put your needle in and use like use your needle down facility mm -hmm. as well to mm -hmm. help you position it correctly. So this is a really accurate way of foundation piecing. Okay. Turn it back over. You've given me a job to do as well. I have, you? yeah. I've been I'm just forging. getting myself ready for it. Oh, good. <laughs> it's all about being prepared. Okay. So that's, so we've got one, two, and three in. We'll put one more piece in. Mm -hmm. Ooh, make sure these don't get clipped. So we're going to do the, between one and four. Mm -hmm. So you're literally card. sewing by numbers. Yep, you're sewing by numbers around in a spiral. A message. I've just ordered this beautiful kit and pattern Hello. from Deirdre in Surrey. Well Ooh, done. Well done, Deirdre. Amazing value. Okay, bit, so I've bit bonkers value, we all think. <laughs> but hey, don't knock it. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. So again, right sides together, mm -hmm. back in position, a couple of pins. And you soon get into the rhythm of this, don't you? You do. You do get into so, the So flip, press, trim. And then repeat, repeat. Repeat. Yeah. A message. Thank you. Hello, Stuart and Sally Ann. This is fabulous. Brightens up any rainy day. What's not to love about a Liberty Brolly walking my schnauzers? <laughs> oh, Sandy. Oh, Sandy, thank you. Now I'm imagining you walking along the coast on a beautiful sunny day and there's a little shower maybe. Yeah. Gorgeous. Sandy is one of my pattern testers. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. She's amazing. She's an amazing sewist. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to get my scissors at the ready. I've got to do a bit, of, I've got to do a bit of cutting out. <laughs> I'm being trusted by Sally Ann Harrison to cut out. I feel this is good. It's a good sign. <laughs> good sign. <laughs> you trust me. <laughs> right, so again, that would be piece number four. So you're just getting it into position. Great, yep, yeah, that makes absolute sense. You can see how it builds up. And so you're going to keep working around in a spiral. Yes, you're going to yeah. keep working around in a spiral. What I would say is... This piece goes up to 44. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to go take it up to 44 if you don't want to. Um, I took it up to 29, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then at that point, I looked at it and thought, 
actually, I think I'm ready just to put some dark strips around the outside mm -hmm, edge. Mm -hmm. So I remove the paper and I put some dark strips around the oh, edge. Oh, okay. But I mean, if you want to continue that sort of more segmented effect, yes. you know, take it all the way. Sure, yeah? absolutely. I suppose as well, there is the option of just very, very slightly enlarging the umbrella. If you were going to do two oh, yeah. together, you could have one slightly bigger yeah. and then you've got the foundation. Definitely. Options. Yes, yeah. yeah, definitely. Love options. Remember, you can get the foundation paper if you want to. It's from Carol Doak. It's 100 sheets and they're all A4. They'll go through your normal printer. So you can scan the design in, print off as many copies as you like. And then um, obviously just make sure when you're printing them off that you've got your printer set to actual size yes that's something so i don't, don't know always why but my it. printer always defaults to like 97 percent or something silly like 98 percent. scale so, to fit might be might be yeah but yeah something to watch out for absolutely so once you've done the whole foundation yep. it's going to look a bit something like this. that isn't it so oh, that's, that's lovely is that's, that the blue this is the blue this is the blue. Now, the blue bundle has sold out, but if you bought the blue bundle, this is what you're getting, you lucky people. Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. All the bundles have now sold out. Well done if you got yours. Is the little bundle of, of um, Maisie boots, legs and toes? <laughs> We've still got some of those. Great. So my next job then, you've given me some Bondi web. Yes. Yes. So what you, so I've traced off the pattern from the, from the booklet. Yep. Cut it out, not on the pencil line. No. Ready to actually go onto the reverse of the foundation piece, which yep. has had the papers removed. So you would just put, put this on here. Yeah. And then cut it out on the okay. pencil line. Okay, that's can my trust, job. Can I trust you to do that? Yeah, you, well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? <laughs> we'll see if your trust was well-placed or misplaced. Okay. So in the meantime, I have all the other pieces make up the picture which is the lead lazy the stripy legs boots and the mac mm -hmm. so we've got the sheet haven't we as well which we'll move in in a minute so i'm going to remove the papers from the back of this yeah so i've previously fused these and cut them out so you can see the glue on the reverse. Now, if you need some bonder web, we'll pop that on screen for you. I'm just hoping this all fits on just right. It's just about does it, I think. Yeah. So, and if now you're wondering then. how long that's going to take you, my husband did that piece. Did he? He's never foundation piece before. Wow. And it took him an hour and a half. Amazing. That's rather impressive. That's rather <laughs> I did, impressive. I did threaten that he, you know, you ought to really come on and <laughs> do the demonstration. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You wouldn't need <laughs> me then. <laughs> I say. Now, I've got you the Millwood applique pressing mat. Yes. And you're going to use We've this to build this, up yeah. your image, aren't you? I am indeed. What I'm going to do, if I lay this down on the table, do you want your, do you want the pattern? Yes. Underneath? Yep. So we want the press... We want that one. Yeah. With that pattern on top. On first. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Let me. So pressing that first. Yep. And then your pattern on top. Yep. I'm just going to move everything over a little bit so we can right. get it into shot. Oop. That will be fine. Is that enough room for you? Yeah. Perfect. Right. So then Millwood applique over the top. Do you see how you can still see the pattern through? the mat and then you've got your goddess sheet at the ready when you need it. Fantastic. Okay. And I should be over here quietly cutting out. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off, continue peeling off the paper for the legs. So your legs will be black and white stripe, but mine are blue and white stripe. So I'm just going to position them here. So these images will need to be reversed for the fusible web applique. So don't okay. forget to do that. I suppose if you're doing a pair of children, then you could have one reversed, one not reversed. You could do. Bond webs the side graphic. The main graphic there is the Millwood pressing mat. Absolutely amazing stuff. 
Delphine and I have both fallen in love with ours. Couldn't be without it now. I was saying to you, wasn't I, Sally, that it was a tool I didn't know I needed until it was invented. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, how did I live without this? Oh, the yellow looks cute. Just to remind you, all of the bundles have now sold out. Now that little black line, what's that for and what is it? What little black line? Oh, this is the lead. What little black line? <laughs> I was looking on the screen. I was looking <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> yeah, so this is the lead. It has already got um, Bondi Web on the back. So that's a bit of pre-fused bias binding, which I have got. Uh, I am just going to, just a minute, I shall be right with you. Right, there's your umbrella. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Right, so just to mention, the he this here, let me just show you here. Chris, this here. <laughs> there we go. Right. So the dog lead there is made from some pre-fused black bias binding. Very, very narrow. Now we've got a one meter piece. So you're going to get maybe one, two, three, four, five-ish dog lead. So you get plenty there for £1.49. It's got a fusible web already attached. The paper backing just needs peeling off and then it is ready to lay down and fuse in place. It also makes the dog's collar as well. Okay, so get your uh, bias, fused bias tape, iron on black bias tape, mm. six mil wide. Uh, absolutely perfect for this job. It's also absolutely brilliant if you want to do stained glass applique to create the leading because it is cut on the bias. And if you want to curve it, what you do is you take the, the paper off. If you leave the paper on, it, it won't bend because the paper stops it. <laughs> so you peel the paper off, then you can kind of curve it round whatever shape you're doing and then iron it into place. And if you're careful and you've got the line, you can sort of iron and then pull it round a curve and continue to iron and pull it round the curve. But as I say, you take the paper off before you do that. So really worth stocking up on this. I don't think I've ever seen this on... Sewing Street. Now, if you're buying this, if you're buying multiples, they will come as individual one meter pieces. They're already cut to size. So you don't get it on a roll, this one. It's a one meter piece by whatever multiples you buy, 149. But it makes the little details on Sally Ann's cushion much more easy to achieve for £1.49 rather than faffing. I think it does a really neat job. And also as well, I don't think you'd want to raw edge there would you it, no you it, wouldn't it yeah yeah that you would don't want Maisie to get off the lead <laughs> definitely yeah. not definitely not definitely not so that's your black bias binding or bias tape rather okay now we also have some silver now you get a whole roll here this is a 10 meter roll it's from Clover and it's that quick bias. You get 11 yards or 10 meters. This is on a roll. I'll just show you. Look, and it is a lovely shiny gold, almost like a Lurex fabric. This is 20 pounds and 99 pence. It is absolutely gorgeous. Again, really, if you do um, stained glass, especially for like Christmassy projects, mm -hmm. I think it looks amazing. It's going to sell out. Is it got, it's out. got the fusible it's got the fusible on. on as well. Yeah. I'm just looking at that and wondering whether or not you could just chip into it and cut it up and make it into raindrops. Oh, how nice. Yes, you could have little silver raindrops. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> nice idea that. Like that. Love that. What a great idea. All right. Thank you. Sally Ann, I'm going to come back over okay. now. Now, we so ready? we've got for the so just talk moment. us through what you've been up to. Okay, so all I've done is um, layer up the girl so that she's stuck together. So I'm, what I'm hoping to do is fuse her on, onto the mat and she won't stick because of the properties of the mat. So you've taken all the paper off first? Yeah, all the paper's gone. Um, and then I'm going to put the iron, I'm going to cover this with 
what did you call it? I call it a goddess sheet. A goddess sheet. Sort of like it comes in, it comes with it, yeah. So that you don't get any gummy stuff on your iron. Awesome. And then hopefully we can peel her off and put her in position. Yeah. But I deliberately did it this way so that you could make her completely. And because otherwise it's, it's, it's faffing around, isn't it? It's like, are the legs that long? Are Trying they that, to build that short? it up. Yeah. Well, you know exactly that you've got it right. Absolutely right. Okay. Absolutely right. So we're going in. So shall I just, yeah. I'll, I'll let go, it'll stand up, Ooh. and I'll let you go in there and press it. Okay. Yeah, these sheets are absolutely amazing. I'm not quite sure how much will it take, do you think, to before it fuses? Same amount of time as normal. Okay. The heat goes straight through the goddess sheet, okay. and it will fuse it, but it also protects it too. So if you're using fabric that's a little bit more delicate... Um, it does actually protect it a little bit okay. as well. But of course, you can always check and see and just feel that everything's fused nicely. So, see whether or not. Sorry. Right. Would you have to wait for it to cool down or? No, no okay. not really. So you took the paper off, you laid yeah. everything up and then you fused the whole image yeah. into one. one. Yeah, there we go. So look, no gunk. No residue, nothing on your ironing board. The pattern's perfect. Yep. It's exactly what it was on the pattern. Will you just show us the... If I just move this out of the way and just lay it back down again for me. Thank you. Don't iron it now, otherwise you'll have a very de decorative <laughs> ironing board. But look, all there in one piece. Isn't that clever? It's cool, Do you need it? one now? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're great, aren't they? So here is a pre-prepared cushion front. So we're now ready to fuse in place the dog lead and Maisie. So this is a little bit long. Oh, I've had a lovely message from Angela. She says, another pattern for my little scrappy bits. I know you can't have enough, can you, for the little scrappy bits? She says, the colourful umbrella is a sign for neurodiversity. Uh, so I would love to make this for my granddaughter using mum's scrappy bits. I think that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, I love those images where you can put yourself into the picture. Yes, yeah, definitely. You can talk around them with children as well, can't you? Right, so now I'm going to go back in and fuse Maisie, the lead and the whole. And in the pattern, I actually tell you how many inches in to actually centre your design. Gotcha. That's something as well that is easy to get sort of like to make the cushion and then suddenly discover that everything's down one end. Yeah. So sally Ann, that background, you've got your fabric on top, your seeded natural cotton. Yeah. So this is just a quilt sandwich. So I've got the seeded natural cotton. I've got a some cotton batting and some, looks like some Liberty Wiltshire. So you've got some backing fabric on I've there as well. I've got backing fabric on. You Understood. don't have to use backing fabric. It's just that we're going to do some free motion work. Yeah. Um, and it goes through your sewing machine much smoother if it's got a back on. If it's got a fluffy batting, sometimes it gets pulled down get into the caught, yeah. base of the machine. How are we doing? Are we... And with this sort of thing, you don't want to sort of go back and forth. You just want to press it to make the glue yep. dissolve. I think we're all on there now. Awesome. So, yeah, don't think that because you've fused the appliques to the millwood mat that you've sort of used up the glue. All you've done is you've melted it and then it sets again. And then with heat, it'll melt again. The reason why you can't do that on fabric is the, the glue bonds with the fabric, but it doesn't bond with the millwood mat. So you can, you can repeat that process again and again before you put it on your fabric. So it's great you can build up your appliques. Right, so I'm going to change this up now and put a dining foot on because I'm going to do some free motion work. Yep, fabulous. Get excited. And I love I this am. bit. <laughs> oh, I love this bit too. The thing is, you said at the start that it's little different skills, little bits of different skills. I love this because you know those times where you think, oh, I've got another 49 blocks to make. <laughs> well, you're not going to feel that with this project because You've, you'll be thinking, oh, I've nearly finished this and then I'm onto the applique. Oh, now I'm onto the stitching. And it's just lovely. Really will kind of re-energise you. Right. 
So what got you, your sojo, back? Um, I made a little case, mm -hmm. like a craft case. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And that was, yeah. Yeah, just um, something just small. Just something very small, yes. Yeah. It's like a quick fix, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, letting yourself loose on a king size quilt probably won't get you so Joe back. <laughs> it's more something small, yeah. achievable. You can go, oh, that's lovely. I did that. I'm back into it now. Right. So I would usually bring the thread to the top, but because um, because it's got a thread cutter, I'm hoping that it's going to be fine as it is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just go for Let's it. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm about an eighth in. Mm -hmm. That's it from the edge. I don't get, I know a lot of people get really hung up and it's like, oh, it's got to be really cool, you know, near the edge, that sort of thing. Yep. It hasn't. It, in fact, the more wobbly it is, the more character it seems to give the piece. So don't sort of think, oh, you know, that line's not right or it's, it's going to be, it's going to add some depth. And you want to hold your hands almost like a little bit of a picture frame to do it. And yes, you can turn it around. Um, I know a lot of people find it a lot easier just to do this straight yep. towards them as you would a normal sewing machine. So effectively, you're sewing down the applique and quilting it at the same time. Two for one, I love yep. that. Good question from Deirdre. Do you put the darker colours on the outside of the umbrella or does it not matter? The darker colours will give you more 3D effect if yeah. you do that. Because it looks like it's further away yes. and the light centre is yep. nearer to you. Got a question from Catherine. She says, Hi, does Catherine. the grain of fabric need to be considered when laying pieces of fabric to the paper pattern? I'm assuming when you're foundation piecing. This is from Catherine. This is a really good question. Well, I personally don't think so. If you're going to no. sew around the edges, yeah, and you're also stabilizing with, it, then. yeah, like fabric off grain ordinarily would stretch, wouldn't it, when you were handling it? The fact that you're sewing it to a piece of paper which is completely stable stabilizes the grain. So when you're foundation piecing, you can use fabric in any direction you like when you're piecing it. When you take the fabric, the, the paper off. Obviously, at that point, the fabric is unsupported. So, round the edges, yes, be a little careful, but remember what you're doing is you're taking that paper off and then fusing it to another stabiliser, which is your bonder web. It's also the reason why in foundation piecing you can use those tricky fabrics that you might not normally use for patchwork. So you can use velvets that have got a bit of stretch in them. You can use things like Lurex, or, you know, if, if the fabric works, you can put it in um, because it will be stabilised by the, the paper. So you were saying be, embrace the wobble. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can see close up. Adorable. Mine's quite, quite wobbly, but yeah. I'm just embracing the wobble. How many times do you go around each so I tend to go around each piece twice. Twice, yeah. And, and, and are you absolutely trying to match the lines up or not? No, definitely. I'm not at all. In fact, I'm, I'm deliberately crossing them. If that makes sense. So that there is a little wobble. So it, in, in effect, it looks more sketched. Absolutely. Yes. That's the look we're going for. Yeah. I suppose as well, while you're doing this, you could add in little extra details, like the, uh, if there was a crease in an elbow yes. of, of fabric or something, or a little button, you could add those with yeah. stitch. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Um, it's a lovely technique. Let's do the other leg. Oh, Carol's got in touch. She says, good morning, all. Hello. Morning, my lovely. Morning. So there's a little bit more detail in the pattern, sort of around the boot area, mm -hmm. where you sort of bring the lines in a little bit more. And there's also a little bit more detail in the dog. So you're going to need to do like an eye for your dog. Mm -hmm. And there's some more details around her legs. Yep.
Did you say you add those as you go or you add them at the end? So I, I would add them as I went along here. Fair enough, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see how it's already beginning to come together. You could, I mean, there's nothing oh, stopping lovely. you. Um, you could quilt in the ditch here if you wanted to. Give it a little bit more puffiness, but it's yeah. up to you. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to do a little few puddles. Mm -hmm. um, I did puddles with Pardon? silver. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do, I did silver and black on free motion on the, on the sewing machine, but it's up to you. Mm -hmm. um, now, do you need to draw those lines in? Well, you could do if you wanted, but I would imagine it's more difficult to follow a puddle line than it is to just sort of create one. Yeah. Yeah. Would you maybe sketch it on paper first, get used to the yeah, idea? Yeah, you might of... do, yeah. If you're nervous about doing these things, you know, you can always draw out the person onto a piece of spare calico, trace the pattern off, just the lines, and practice stitching around those. You can get the muscle memory. Yeah, get the muscle memory going. Because you've done this before, sally Ann, it's fair to say. Just a bit, You've yeah. had a bit of practice. <laughs> But the lovely thing about doing something organic like a puddle is there is no lines to follow. It's you make your puddle your way. I never thought I'd say that, <laughs> say that. on television. <laughs> make your puddle your way. Yeah, and there's, as I said, there's more features for the dog to go into the dog and the puddle. Um, I mean, and you could go to town with this, couldn't you? You could do rainbows, you could do sunshine. Yeah, you could put yeah. all sorts of different things in. Um, a Liberty rainbow in the background. You could do, you yes, could please. Give, you, could, you could give it a bit of a... A horizon going straight across that would yeah. be quite cool yeah um you could frame it with that tape you could you know that with the black perhaps? oh yeah double frame it with the black well it's interesting you should say that sally Ann, because our hannah has been having a little scoot through our website and she's actually found rolls of black bias tape Oh. In a roll, not oh, okay. cut to order. So a 10 metre roll, here are the details I'll show you in just a sec. A 10 metre roll of black iron on bias tape. So this is in one continuous 10 metre length for £15.49. pence. So it all comes on a roll, bit like, bit like that. There we go, there it is, there it is. Already fused, quarter of an inch wide, six mil wide. The silver roll has sold out. The black roll, we've just discovered. How many have we got? Ah, oh, that's all we've got, five rolls. That's all we've got, not many, not many. Um, and then also we've got the bias tape maker. Hmm. Let me just explain. So if you, we've got the image. So we've got the Clover Fusible Bias Tape Maker. This is 25 mil. This is a one inch width. So it's a one inch width, so it is rather thick for this, but we'll, we'll talk about it anyway. Do you see there's a little rectangular slot at the bottom and a little groove? So what you do is you put a thin strip of fusible web through that slot. Can we just see the picture again, please? So it goes through that slot and then it goes down the channel Okay, and then your fabric goes through the bias tape maker as normal. And then basically, as you're pulling your bias tape maker away and ironing, you're ironing the bias tape, and at the same time, you're ironing the fusible, the thin strip of fusible web to the back of it. Okay, now Clover produce, this was the bit I was just unsure about. Clover produce rolls of thin fusible web specifically to go through these tape makers, which we don't sell, all right? You can still use them. I, all of my bias tape makers at home are Clover and they're all fusible ones, but I don't use the fusible tape. Because I'll be honest with you, when I'm doing um, fusible tape applique, I use a glue stick, I run the glue stick along my placement line and then I stick it down with my fingers. But that's how you use them anyway. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. That's all right. Again. That's fine. Um, I don't. You would finish off the umbrella with like a silver button. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some silver, silver buttons. buttons. Yeah, we've got little coverable buttons. Yeah, the rig, uh, that's what I used on the uh, the sample there. Yeah. Yeah. And all you're going to do is I've got some. Uh, I think it's DMC or anchor sort of embroidery thread. Yeah. And it's just basically I'm threaded on a hand sewing needle and you bring it up to that pivot point if that makes sense and then back down 
through the back of the, the quilt and then take another big stitch here. So it's just yep. big stitch all the way around ah, gotcha. to actually create the, the spokes, which are going to look something like this. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So you, do you couch the silver thread down or machine? I haven't it? done, no. Oh, you literally just it's do just from one side to the other. Yeah. I see. So if I just show you on this one, look. You can actually I just put your finger underneath. Run my finger. You yeah. see that you can run your finger underneath. So this is just literally up here and down yeah. there. And this is the silver thread that Sally Ann's using. It's DMC metallic embroidery floss in silver. One skein, two twenty nine. Lovely. That's a really cute idea. I like that. You could even put a little covered button in the centre. These are coverable buttons. You could yeah. cover with your Liberty little tiny scrap. No scrap should be wasted, eh, Sally? Definitely not. Not of Liberty. No. What about a little red button? Match the... and the... Yeah? Can we just talk pom-poms? <laughs> Can we talk pom-poms, Sally Ann? I love pom-poms. I'm really. glad to hear you're a pom-pom <laughs> lover. I am a great fan. Because I think the whole world would be a nicer place if things had pom-poms on them. And, and I must admit that that is really good quality pom-pom trim because I had some the, delivered this week price. by somebody else. And it's just oh. nowhere near. Oh. That, it's lovely quality. Amazing. 11 metres for 14 99 It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely brilliant. It comes on a dispenser as well. Just like this. Yeah. It's brilliant. Put pom-poms on everything. That's what I say. I love them. I lo well, doesn't that look fabulous? For the, yeah, and the pom-poms just add. They just add. Brilliant. That's the red pom-pom. I've got deep blue navy. You say deep blue, I say navy. And a good size pom-pom. Easy to add as well, aren't they? Yeah. And then pink. So you could pick out any of these. So perhaps red with the original, blue with the blue version, pink with the pink version, or mix and match. Or just grab the pom-poms because they're <laughs> great value. 14 99 for 11 meters, all on a dispenser. How do you add the pom-poms, Sally Ann? So the pom-poms are added at the end. So you would make the back with the zip intact, which yep. is the pieces I've got here. You need to make sure that with the pom poms, I'm pretty certain that there is a right and a wrong side. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you want to put them right along here. Yep. So I actually over that way a little bit for me. Just yep. wait there. Brilliant. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Bit more. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks. So I actually tack them in with on the sewing machine or you know, stay stitch them in. Yeah. To start off with on both pom poms pointing inwards. Yes. Yep. Completely. And then put your back on. Yep. Um, and then I go round, well, I, d I do it in a little bit of a weird way because we've got quite a lot of bulk here. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> sounds really weird. I sew, I use a walking, walking foot as much as I can. And I sew from the middle to the edge, from the middle to the edge, from the middle to the edge, from the middle to the edge. And then, and all, then I do the ends. I do the same, Sally Ann. Do you? I don't think that's weird at all. Okay. I do the same. And yeah. then once I've sewn this, I look at it and I think, okay, if I got close enough to Can that I get a bit closer? Can I get a bit closer to that pom-pom yeah. trim? So then I will put my uh, zipper foot on and yep. I go as close as I can get to my pom-pom yeah. trim and then I'll turn it through yeah. and trim the corners. Yeah. yeah, use your zipper foot. Or if you've got the Brother FS250, you've actually got an adjustable, like a slider zipper and piping foot added in as well, which you can adjust and you can move over. Oh, right, So okay. you can get rid, oh, really good. That sounds cool. Yeah, 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 I have to show you. It's in the Brother FS250, you get it included. <coughs> Excuse me. What a perfect project for a rainy day or a sunny one. Definitely guaranteed to bring back your sojo, I think. Now, the only way to, that you can get involved now is with the pattern, but what a great way what a great way. There are eight left and 36 of you have it in your basket. It's $9.99. You get the full pattern. You get your foundations. You get your appliques, all full size. You get all your techniques explained, including how to put the zip in the back, how to make up the cushion. It's a delightful project. Really charming, whimsical, a little bit of humour in there. It's just lovely and wonderful 
uh, personalizations possible. <laughs> I just love the way the dog is adoringly looking. Oh, and don't forget the club that, you know, if you buy the pattern, come and join us in the Facebook community and come and share your, your version of Macy yep. or yeah. Arthur or yeah. whoever. Wouldn't that be dog fun is? to see how people yeah, personalise? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Sally Ann does have a club. Have a look on her Facebook page. Just love it. Now, the other thing which I just think is brilliant, and I'm so glad that Sally Ann used it and, and now I think loves it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> the Millwood fusing mat. Uh, the, it's the kind of tool you don't know you need until you see it and then it's like, oh, how have I done it up till now? <laughs> So what you get, it's a two-parter. This sits on your ironing board or your iron surface. It's a really good size. You can put your pattern, your book, whatever you're working from. It might be a fold-out pattern of your applique. Or you can just have it on top of your ironing board. You know, you might just be making it up as you go along. You might be doing a full wreath of flowers. I mean, you, it's amazing. You can build it up on there or you can put your fabric block down and then put your appliques on top and then goddess sheet on top and iron. This protects your ironing board. This protects your iron. It also keeps everything in place. Have you ever done fusible applique, um, uh, Sally, and then sneezed or coughed yeah. or laughed and blown everything? Because I have. This holds everything still. Nothing's going to move while you're pressing. It's just a brilliant piece of kit for $24.99. It's the tool you didn't know you needed until you get it home. Sally Ann, absolutely wonderful. Great show. Great project. We'll see you in an hour. Yes. We get two projects <laughs> from you in the next hour, including this absolutely gorgeous basket of flowers. I am utterly charmed <laughs> by this. And you can make your own uh, stick around. Isn't it delightful? OK, right. See you after the break with Yvonne Makatamni. We're going to Japan. It's month two. I'll see you after this. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? 
That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Hey, good to have your company. It's Sewing Streets Thursday, and it's also month two of Impressions of Japan. Avon Makatamni, welcome back. Thank you very it's much. Wonderful to see you again. Yes, I'm. I'm back. At the I, you know, I don't know where the last month's gone. <laughs> Truly don't. You've had a busy one. We'll talk about that in a bit. Absolutely. Hanging behind you is the amazing Impressions me, yep. of Japan quilt. It's a block of the month quilt that runs over 10 months. You get nine months of blocks and there are all sorts of different techniques. Applique, piecing, folded three-dimensional patchwork, sashko, embroidery. It's absolutely exquisite. And then month 10, you create this beautiful border with appliques, with sashko. I love the sort of almost yin yang of mm. the black and the white. It's, it's balanced. It's just beautiful and features so many iconic imageries. There's the, is it no, nori or noshi, the, yep, the seaweed? Um, like the ribbons? The You've, ribbons. I did put one on. These yeah. there, yeah. I did. Gorgeous, yeah. yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Absolutely just, beautiful. Just different aspects, different emblems, things that kind of spring to mind when you think of... Iconic. Well, that was, iconic. The, that was the plan. Gorgeous. You've done it. You've achieved it. Now, we started month one last month, and Yvonne, I was lucky enough to get to do you the show here. with you. You were. It was phenomenally popular. We sold out and we know that there were some of you who were left disappointed. The good news is that we've got a very, very limited number of month one available today. Have a look on the website. You can go and grab that now. We're going to launch into month two. We've got month two. Half the stock's gone already. Obviously, Does everyone who I go bought home that, early. You don't go yeah, home right. early, Yvonne. We want an hour with you, thank okay. you. Okay. We want the full hour. Month number two, this is Cranes, Blossom and Sashko. Have a look at this. You've got the beautiful cherry blossoms, the Sakura. Which, of course, it's the right time of year for. Perfect Just timing. Just coming in. Perfect timing. You've got the cranes. These are elegant. Look at the embroidery in the background. You've got the uh, folded patchwork in the sashings. This isn't pieced as such. This is folded. You're going to see the techniques today. And then you've also got this wonderful hand-stitched sashko, sashiko uh, section here. So different techniques. You're going to learn. Your skills are going to grow. It's a fabulous journey through Japan. 
I just, it's lovely. Now, within your pack, you get all of your pattern. You also get the fabrics that you're going to need. You get your embroidery floss to create your sashko. You get your base fabrics as well. So more or less everything you're going to need. Now, you might want to add a little bit of extra, maybe some uh, French knots in the centre of the Sakura blossoms, as Yvonne has done. Well, you can dive into your stash there, can't you? Well, it, you don't need a whole skein no, of thread. Exactly to, right. To do this. Exactly right. Um, so really, we've just tried to put in there what you need most of. Exactly right. Um, exactly so you right. can use the thread that we have put in there for the sashiko and for the background lines yeah. for the, uh, the Koreans. So lovely. Now, $34.99 for month two. Remember, it's gonna build up over a 10 month period. So again, you've got four weeks, five weeks a month to enjoy your tasks, if you like. Um, you can save them all up and make it all in one go at the end if you prefer. Uh, you could mix yeah. and match, but absolutely beautiful to spend some time each month working on a real showstopper of a quilt, something that perhaps on its own, if, if I was to say, make this, it's like, whoo. Yeah. Whew. I mean, you had to, bit Yvonne. A bit, a bit intimidating, yeah. but uh, once you, you slicing an elephant, no elephants were harmed during exactly the making of this quilt. But whenever you cut things down into manageable chunks, it all becomes very achievable, yeah. which is the, the wonderful thing about a block of the month. It's the point, isn't it? And uh, whenever I do a block of the month, I aim to give you about three days work per month. And I always recommend that you at least open up the envelope, mm -hmm. have a look in there, see what you think. Uh, you have to achieve in the month, mm -hmm. even if you don't start to it. Look and right. see that you know what's uh, what the sequencing sure. is. And make a date with yourself. You know, exactly. I think it's like, plan it out. Yeah. Get buying a cake, plan a lovely afternoon, mm -hmm. your first afternoon. Just really look forward each month to the next instalment. I do love the sound of a job that's three days a month, Yvonne. Wouldn't it be wonderful? <laughs> Can I come and work with you? Oh. I'll tell See, you. that's month two of Impressions of Japan. Now, just a bit of a stock update. Just a bit of a stock update there. Uh, very, very popular. I've got fewer than 30 kits left. Now, I need to tell you that, let me put this into context. Last month, this month, we've got more stock this month. And we've got under 30 left. And that's more than we had last month, but we're already down to our last less than 30 of month three. So if you want month three, if you know somebody who's, who's made a start last month, uh, send them a text, give them a ring, make sure they're watching. They need to get month two under their belt. Obviously, there's a limit uh, of the number that Yvonne can make. Um, yeah. Um, well, we're, we're happy with the quantity that we were able to provide this month. We yep. may be able to do a few more, but we're not talking tens of... No. You know, we're... Exactly. Limited by the fabric, by the time. Remember, Village Fabrics, I love how Village Fabrics do their kits. It, very time consuming for, for you and, and your staff. But I mean, the benefits for, for us when we get our pack home, because we've got just the fabrics we need, they're cut to the right sort of size of yeah. chunks, if you like. So you're not paying for loads of fabric that you don't need. You're paying for the fabric you need for the project. Beautiful quality. You only do quality. I only oh. do quality. I do. <laughs> well, well, we make our own samples yeah. up and there is nothing worse than working with a fabric that is fraying. Life's or, too short. Uh, yeah, uh, or, you know, it's so badly woven yeah. or printed. Yeah, Where's the fun? None, none. Yeah. I want to be working with quality. And indeed yeah. you do. Grab yours while you can because the stock is disappearing before, that was disappearing by the way, disappearing <laughs> before our very eyes. Month number two of Impressions of Japan. It's the Cranes, the Blossoms, and the Sashko. And there are some... Gorgeous. Now, block number one, month number one. And each of the, each of the um, months has sort of 
four elements to it, doesn't it? Yes, Bon? Yes, if only I could find one of those elements for this month would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> but yes, um, what, um, what I've done here is kind of laid out what you are looking to achieve each month. So you have a panel, then two other panels, and obviously the shape of these panels changes month on month, but you have these three major panels each month, yep. and they are held together by some form. I'm just gonna have to take out the details of block one because we've literally got two left? Three left, three left. You get a little booklet about the whole quilt, by the way, as well in month one, yeah, so just kind of set foot. out what yeah. you're gonna do. And then you've got, and this is what I mean though about how Yvonne and her team very dedicated team, create their kits. You're getting just what you need, but imagine how time consuming that is. You haven't got to do the work. It's been done for you. It's just fab, absolutely fab. And lovely gold elements in this quilt, aren't there? Well, a bit of sparkle. Yeah, bit, wow, yeah, a bit of, bit, of, bit of elegance. Bit of elegance. Oh, I like Love that. Love that. Bit of elegance. Uh, so, month two. Okay, so, um, in the pack, you have a colour copy of what you are going to achieve. So you have the three panels that I've just uh, have this sheet of paper lying on top of. You have lots of words. You have some diagrams for how the folded uh, elements go into the uh, sashing. You have full-size templates reversed for using a fusible web with. And just to be sure that everything fits as it should, you have a full-size A3 sheet here that is giving you the layout for assembling. Yeah, and these are all full-size again, aren't they? So this you is, can see yep. exactly how it's gonna fit together. That's the plan. That's the plan. Don't mess with the plan. Uh, just want to ask, do we have any stock left of month two? Month two. Yes. Month two. Graphics are in, 34.99. Okay, last, last few opportunities. Well, yeah, we'll leave that out now for a while. Yvonne's doing the demo, thank you. Um, I ha you will see I don't have a sewing machine with me here today because mm -hmm. I thought that it was more important to show you how the hand work is done for this particular month to enhance the pieces that you do applique on. But also Yvonne, you could make this whole quilt by hand, couldn't you? Even the piecing you could sew together by hand. There, there is very little piecing really. Yeah. Um, I don't like hand sewing straight lines. I like to do the, the fun elements. Yeah. What I think you really can do is to add embellishments that we can't pack into kits for mm -hmm. you. You know, if if you had some beautiful little beads, mm, then obviously the hair decoration for the um, for the geishas pop some beads. Yeah. If you are a uh, a lace maker, Ooh. then I think there are some elements like the net here that I have simply embroidered. Yeah. That could be a piece of lace. Yeah, yeah. You know, or, or precious things that you've collected over the little, years. Yes, little, little charms. charms. But just don't overdo it. No. I, um, the choice is yours. Yeah. There are opportunities there. But I think the great, th this, is, this is not, this is not your poorly quilt that you like throw over yourself when you've got a bit of a snuffle. This is a piece of art isn't it? This on goes at the head of your stairs. Really does. You know. um, and yeah. so I think you can you can sew things to this that you wouldn't normally sew mm. to a quilt, perhaps those yep. metal charms, those beads, those precious things. Yes. Yeah. Right. I, I I get very tempted with beads. But oh, yeah. We can't we can't put them in the kits. It's no, just... no, no. Well, also as well, I think it's a lovely opportunity for people to make each quilt individual and unique. And yes. you've got, remember, nine blocks, four elements, so 36 different blocks within your mm -hmm. quilt that you can add your personality into. Exactly. Yeah, gorgeous. So um, you have one background fabric and with the fabrics I 
talked last month about using the right side or the wrong side or the reverse side. So in this month, I have used the right side of the background fabric for two of the panels, the one at the top for the, for the crane. And because it is a little leaf, the back, um, you can't, um, you may not be able to see it, but it's a little leaf for this month. So I was very happy to use that for, as the right side for the back, for the blossom to go on. But when it came to doing the sashiko, I really felt that while I wanted the background to be doing something, I didn't want it to be overpowered, mm -hmm. overpowering the, the stitching. The, right, the first thing that you have to do is make sure that you have pressed your fabric before you draw <laughs> with your Frixian pen, okay? Now, as you can see, I've got a crease across here because it's been folded to come to the studio. <laughs> Don't iron it. I'm not going to Don't iron, iron that. it. No. <laughs> um, but... I'm going to take that iron away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, just, it'll be all right on that side, but it certainly can't live on this side. So, but what I want to talk about is Whenever I do my, ver my version of the sashiko stitching, I draw a grid. Mm -hmm. um, this means that I can make that grid whatever size I want. It can be a half inch uh, grid, it could be an inch, it can be two inch, whatever you want. So it allows you to fill whatever space you have available for mm -hmm. doing this. So Frixian pens are an absolute must for this. So it's a two-step process. You are going to draw, in this instance, a half-inch grid, which I have done with a blue pen. Mm -hmm. And then you are going to draw on the pattern with a different colored pen. Oh, okay. This makes it a little bit easier to see because the, I, I happen to have a blue pen and a black pen, and it just makes sense, especially if you're doing it in the evening. Now, I do have to say that drawing the grid is really important that you achieve a square. Mm -hmm. If you don't, then whenever you try to put the circles in, they don't fit in that, in, within that square and then the, the, the intersections don't meet up. Okay. Okay, so take your time and do this accurately. As always, we give you a size to cut your piece of fabric out to, cut to start with, and that's where you want to start. You're doing a lot of manipulation of this fabric. You have it in your hand quite a lot. You then will trim it, and that brings it down to the size that you want to sew, allowing mm -hmm. you a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and then you have your finished size. So start with the, the larger size, so this sashiko is, it, we're giving you an inch all the way round, really. Right. Because they're, so whenever you start drawing the grid on, you need to allow yourself a little bit of quarter of an inch wastage. Then you have your seam allowance quarter of an inch. Then you start drawing your grid. Um, if you have a one inch circle uh, template, that's absolutely fine. Um, I, of course, couldn't find mine but that's just life. So of course it is. a 10 pence piece is the answer to oh, that. Oh, hurrah. And do you know, it makes my heart sing that you said that because I use whatever I can find in the house. My little, I've got this little set of china dishes. <laughs> Without them, I couldn't have written my books. <laughs> well, this is, you know, this is what it's all about. Yeah, now, if, you, if, if someone has given you a set of uh, templates, oh, you know, rude not template, to. But... If you don't have them. Mind you, Yvonne, who's got, who carries cash anymore? I do carry cash, but do you carry cash? Well, yes, I do. I'm not going to rob you, don't worry. No, but then... Um, <laughs> you got any cash on you? Can you lend me a fiver? I've, got, I've only got 10 pence, please. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but you're, you're quite right. My, uh, my, my daughter's been running into problems because my grandson is losing teeth. Oh, so the, the tooth, tooth fairy. fairy is having... A, 
is having a bit of an issue. They've had to actually, on one occasion, put some money into an account and tell them that the tooth fairy had... It's the modern way, of oh, It's I the know, modern but way. But it's not quite the same thing, <laughs> is it? Anyway, meanwhile... An IOU under your pillow. Oh, oh it's not. It's really not the same. <laughs> Though, uh, he, did, he did swallow one, so there was some leeway on that instance. Oh. I think oh. that was my oh. fault. Oh. That was my fault. Um, he was at my house and I, I gave him a corn on the cob. And, and, uh, yeah. What, with loose teeth? Yeah, I didn't. Uh, anyway. Um, I mean, thanks for the invite for dinner, Yvonne, but I'm going to pass. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it, let's get back to the drawing of... You behave yourself. Let's get back this. to Sashko. Yes, let's, let's Come on. To this. Come on, Yvonne. So we have... <laughs> let me turn this this way up. So what you have is a half-inch grid. What you are going to do is... Watch put, your head, my love. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. There's no bolt patch. I'm, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I never do that. <laughs> so what we're going to do, and make sure that you have your your Frixian pen, which of course is the side. Yeah, we, there we go. Upright. Because with working with this half inch grid, there is not too much room for. Error. Ten p fits perfectly though, doesn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Um. So I'm going to just go across here, drawing circles, okay? I've got to do this first row. So this is easy, this first row, but what I want to do is show you where the second row is. Sure. Goes. And as I go across here. Talking of circle templates, I did actually have a set of Quilted Bear circle templates on like a little key ring thing yesterday on the show. We never got to them. I just wonder if you could find them. You, I mean, the 10p is great, but I'm just thinking, you know, anybody who does want some circle templates, we do do them. Well, it's not so much the small ones. It's something like a two and a half inch yeah. uh, circle, sorry, a two and a half inch diameter circle. That starts to be more difficult to find in the home. You're going round measuring egg cups and all kinds Absolutely. of things. Absolutely. So um, we have a row of circles, okay? Now, where we want to go next is there. Ah, okay. straddling so, the two. So we have moved in one square of the grid. Mm -hmm. And if I draw around that, and my recommendation is you do it like this. Mm. Work your way down. Do not draw lots and lots of circles. Because you put them in the wrong place. Mm. Um, be build, methodical. Be methodical. Work your way down the grid. So that is... We're starting to create now. If I just go there. Because row one is the same as row three. Row two will be the same as row four. And they're always overlapping the previous row. Yes. There's something very calm and rather zen about doing jobs like this isn't there i love marking it's a bit like lines. doodling nearly yes. isn't it it's that zen tangled thing isn't it so we are creating um i i see these as little leaves little petals yes i can see that yeah mm -hmm. um or even um chains just going to draw that one in and perhaps you can see that 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 you're becoming right the way yeah. down across here because while you draw circles and you get a circular design you actually stitch in chains got you yeah diagonal lines from I, one side to the, the other. other isn't it like, i love the crossover between different cultures and because because this of course is wine glass exactly. quilting in our world as well isn't it exactly um but it also has come down in the japanese tradition yes yes so you now are going to um i have two strands of the uh, it happens to be anchor thread that's yep. in the pack. So I have two strands here. Um, you don't have to use two, you could use one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The two gives you something that looks a little more like a, a little puffed grain of rice, which again is 
what sashiko stitching would be um, seen as. Mm -hmm. What you want, as always, is to be even with your stitching. And if you what you want to do is get the same number of stitches around that curve each time. Mm -hmm. Um, Sally Ann and I were talking earlier and we were saying, you know, the first 20 minutes of stitching is chaos usually. Yes. But once you get your hands warmed up and going, then you do get a rhythm in your stitching. Mm -hmm. Now, I tend to get f probably five stitches along that curve. Don't worry if you don't get five, as long as you consistently get the same number. Mm -hmm. Maybe for you it's four or it's three, mm -hmm. but be consistent. Have mm -hmm. your space and your stitch the same size. Mm -hmm. Because you are going from side to side of this panel, you can simply put a knot on the end of your thread because that is in your quarter inch seam allowance, okay? Do not take too long a thread mm -hmm. because you're only going to tangle it. Mm. And you're working the thread quite a lot and of course it will start to deteriorate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's see how my hands are working this morning. Just move slightly up for me please. Thank you, that's absolutely perfect. Thank you. That's really difficult sewing that far away I from know, me. I know, I know. We don't make it easy for you. You don't, we do don't. you? Well, my, my hands are not making it easy for me at the minute because of all... Now, uh, I asked for thing. this, um, sorry, beg your pardon. I was just, all the moving of boxes and fabric that I've been doing over the last uh, couple of weeks, my hands are just completely uh, wrecked. I bet they are, I bet they are. You deserve a little, a little spa treatment for your hands when all this is done. I think Don't so. Don't you, a little afternoon, nice manicure and a massage. Well, You'll have the whole it. bod, the whole body needs I know. that. I think. Once your bruises have healed, uh, uh, poor thing. Yes, yeah, oh. I'm, I'm in bits, really. Yeah, but, but it's going to be wonderful. If you didn't know, Yvonne's business is moving. It's going to be just down the road from Sewing Street, which is it's a, a, it's very about twenty exciting. minutes from here. Brilliant. We'll be re you'll be sick of the sight of me. Oh, well, we'll just turn the closed sign. <laughs> No, we no uh, that Yvonne didn't say that could never happen, Stuart. No, no, of course not. Of course not. No. We, we'll make sure we have the uh, the coffee pot on. Oh, I'm there. I'm yeah. there. So we're just in Inkborough, uh, which is just south of Redditch here. Yep. And we are having an opening. Tell me more. On Saturday the 6th of April, mm -hmm. um, we're going to open the doors. Well, big marquee outside, so the weather is going to not affect anything. Good. Uh, going to open the doors 10.30 in the morning. Yeah. And sweet treats are the order of the day. Yum. Uh, yum. I was doing some cake testing yesterday too. Very testing. important. So we thought... Is that what you call it, Yvonne? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Really? Oh, Can beautiful. you tell us which flavours made the, made the cut? Well, I had like a... a Choc a white chocolate and raspberry brownie yes, kind of thing. Yes, please. Uh, there was a beautifully decorated carrot cake. Yeah. And we had some millionaire shortbread. Yes. And we will have some millionaire shortbread because... Yes, we will. My, my mum always baked with my two children and we always call them caramel shortbread. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's a, you know, they both girls love having, uh, having that. So we will Gorgeous. have some of those. Gorgeous. And teas and coffees, and there will be some little fabric treats as well. Sounds gorgeous. And then, of course, come the afternoon, oh, yeah, and it's lambing on the farm, as you know. Oh, I certainly do. Yeah, and um, there are some Shetland sheep. Oh, yeah. I, I was unaware of this, but there's going to be some Shetland sheep available for a bit of a little cuddle and a... Oh, love. Well, I love cuddling a lamb. Good. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. what else would you do with them? Well, Gorgeous. Yeah. Actually, I do love they're so snuffly and they can yeah. literally oh. just yeah. like a puppy. They're gorgeous. Uh, they are. Um, so uh, the uh, there will be some uh, walks that you can take around the farm as well, right. of course, it's coming into the shop. And uh, John Scott's going to come across. He's going to do his 
his session in the morning here and then drop over and cut a bit of ribbon that uh, is oh. yet, to be yet to be discovered in the boxes. Yeah, oh, that's fab. So, uh, so, so, so John's going John's gonna to cut the rib ribbon for you, is he? Um, yeah, I'm so, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I saw John first, Stuart. I'll, I'll, I'm ever I'll, so sorry. But I'll you put my scissors away. You, you can you can come on a on a different day. You can come on. A... What on a day when there's no <laughs> cake? I don't think so. No, I will. If if you're coming, I will get my baking out because I do a mean cheese scone. Oh, cheese scones are possibly my my kryptonite. I love them. I know they're good. I they? love them. Or some strong cheese and Warm. a little bit of mustard. Possibly. Uh, possibly. Um, we have a fridge and a microwave. Okay. I'm not microwave. But they will be gone. fresh. They I'll, will be fresh. I'll take that. I'll take so, that. So anyway, while I have been chatting about this, all of this is happening on Saturday the 6th of April. It's in the diary. It's in. Excellent. But, um, what are you doing with that needle? I, <laughs> I am... Um, being very consistent with my stitching. You said, yeah, you can talk and so it's absolutely yes, brilliant. As, as long as I don't have to do it over here, I'm very, <laughs> very good with this. I know, you're doing great, thank um, you. So what I have been doing here is I've been sewing from one seam alliance to the next. Fab. A little message for you from Diana from Denbyshire, who says, hi Yvonne and Stuart, managed to get kit two, now to finish kit one. Beautiful fabrics. Thanks to all the team for their hard work. Diana from Rill. Rill. Thank you Gorgeous. so much. If you are collecting the kits, by the way, and you didn't manage to get kit one, no, if you've got kit one, you still need to, yeah, you, oh gosh, yeah, 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 you still need to get kit two. Even if you haven't finished month one, don't think, oh, well, buy kit two next month because uh, we won't have it. No, it won't we won't be. have it. Get kit two today, get month two yeah. now, otherwise yeah. you'll miss out, you best know. Best to keep, best to keep up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Yvonne said that she might be able to make a few more, but I mean, we're talking maybe four or five more, not 50 more, no. you know. Uh, impossible not yeah impossible not we're very very limited i don't want you to miss out i don't want you to miss out uh we are we are swiftly swiftly heading towards very limited stock okay yeah so i have now stitched um across the from one seam alliance to the other seam alliance i i'm just turning to come back but that is how you stitch, okay? These chains working in one direction and then in the other. Now, if you're feeling competent and confident with this, you can actually do this with two different colored threads Ooh. so that you are creating circles mm. of one color and another color. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah nice. Um, but if this is your first time, stick with one color. It's rather lovely, isn't it, that you're learning all these different techniques that you can showcase in your Impressions of Japan quilt, but you can also then take on and do yeah. in other projects. Yeah, you, you've got, it's, it's like a little sampler panel, mm. really. So that is the sashiko. So that's your uh, right-hand panel mm -hmm. in this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not, I'm just going to say, cut out your, um, your cranes. Use your light box to draw some air waves behind them. Mm -hmm. um, the only stitch in place and the only addition that you make to these is a, a, a French knot for a your eyes. Knot, yeah. Or you could put a little tiny button or a bead. But that is the top. That's, the, that's, the, that's the easy one yeah. for the month. And you yeah. can do that blanket stitch applique by machine. You could do it by hand as well if you wanted if, to. Do it. Yeah. You like handwork. Um, Oh, just wanted to mention, by the way, no. we have got a wonderful pack of John James yeah. needles. I was yeah, telling, we were talking you, about that. You earlier. love John James needles. I, I love do. John James. We all love John James needles. This is a John James hand sewing needle bundle. You actually get nine different packs of John James needles, including milliners, quilting, sharps, uh, chenille, tapestry, beading, long darners, uh, leather, and 
There's another one, isn't there? Be, yeah, it's, I think it's embroidery you get. Um, for 14 99 the value's phenomenal. Yeah, I, absolutely. Made they, in Redditch. Absolutely, you know, 90% of the world's needles used to be made in Reddit. It's incredible. And, and fish heritage. hooks. Yeah, really, fish there's a lovely museum. Yeah, yeah there I'm, is, yeah, there is. Which I'm going, I'm heading off there to have a look at very shortly. Oh, this afternoon? <sighs> no, 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 I'm afraid there's... No, you've got, you've got a, <laughs> a <laughs> shop to move. <laughs> <laughs> I have boxes to unpack. Oh. But anyway, so let's move on to the blossom. The only thing that I want to tell you here is that you are filling this panel with blossom. So when you have all 20 of your petals cut out, do position them very carefully, making sure you're giving yourself the quarter of an inch seam allowance, but you don't have much more than that quarter of an inch seam okay. allowance. The panel is full. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever you uh stitch these in place i've done this uh on the sewing machine yesterday evening on the sample behind me i've used gold thread i believe i have i've used gold thread on this one i've just used um like a off peachy yeah like pink. a coral it's lovely yeah. yeah just you don't have to it can be either but what makes this come alive is whenever you actually add some additional hand stitching to create the the center of these little petals here so I have taken again two strands of thread but I couldn't decide whether this fabric was pink or peach so I thought have one of each Yvonne yeah. don't make the decision oh nice so there is a peach thread and there is a pink thread oh, how so pretty. I've got one how strand of each okay you don't have to, but if I, yesterday, whenever I was thinking about this, I was too tired to make a decision. Mm. So I didn't. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just going to put some long straight stitches. It's simply a straight stitch. You, you do want to try and keep your threads lying flat. Just want to read a message while you do that from Trisha, who's in France. She says, morning both. Oh, my goodness, I'm loving the show today. I have your internet. I have internet outside. So I'm gardening whilst listening to your lovely banter. <laughs> Love, Trisha, in France. Oh, I'm a oh. little bit envious about being able to garden at the moment. Oh. Is it lovely and warm? Oh. My lovely friend and deputy Joan is in New Zealand at the moment and she visited a vineyard yesterday in the sunshine, clear blue skies. Well, I've had two days of actually seeing sunshine. Yeah, it's great. Isn't it wonderful? It is. It's so good for the soul. Um, so I've a long stitch and then I'm putting two slightly shorter stitches on either side of that long stitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the scent, and I'm going to put a couple of shorter ones again on either side. Do this on each petal. Really brings the applique to life, it just doesn't it? Gives it that little 3D element on the blue fabric, which is the center of these blossoms. Mm -hmm. There is a little, like a trellis design. And you can see those kind of white spots. Use those to put your French knots in. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't make it difficult, you know. Just use that as the grid. This is all the addition that I have made to this petal panel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've used the right side of the fabric as the background. We have these lovely little splodgy uh, colours on the petals and a blue centre which you are going to do some French knots in. Mm -hmm. I have used gold. You don't have to, you could perhaps put some pink or peach in there or white. Choice is yours. Now, the let's do the sashing. There, this is fiddly. But okay. I do, like, I do like a bit of fiddle. I like a bit of fiddle. We have diagrams. And I would say that this uh, blue fabric is a little bit finer 
than you would we would normally have but it does the job mm, mm. because you are folding it so you're, you're square you Just are bring it up a little higher for me thank you that's lovely thanks yeah sorry i i need i need a spot we all here. naturally want to do yeah. things into our waist don't we i know yeah. yeah so if you have a little wooden pressing iron or something of that nature do you want the iron no no i burn my fingers yeah true <laughs> i don't want you to do that <laughs> so we're folding the square in half so we have a rectangle i'm then going to fold that rectangle in two and i'm just going to run my my fingernail down here mm -hmm. so that i have a marker that is the center of my rectangle i'm bringing the top down to the bottom along that central line top down to the bottom and I have created one of those, okay? Like a little kite or an arrowhead, mm -hmm. yeah? Now, this is too small to do anything other than tack it in place. Right. So tacking is the order of the day. And you need to make a number of these. Mm -hmm. I think you make 33, but okay. don't panic. It's sitting in your armchair. And this, well, this is the time I put the radio on. I listen to my favourite songs. It's lovely. It's, it's over and done. Pop Sewing Street on. It's over before you know it. <laughs> Surely not. Surely not. <laughs> so just to make this. So the, the sashing, the horizontal sashing and the vertical are, is all the same. There is a, uh, an intersection that is a little bit different so we will deal with that in a moment but to you are putting these little kite shapes down either side of the sashing strips here is one i did earlier okay so that's what it's going to look like so that we are like creating a little chevron there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but with the little uh blue triangles um going to just set that there so what we're doing is putting allowing our quarter of an inch seam allowance we put we place our first little triangle and then we put one beside it one beside it one beside it but, um, to do the other side oh you have to do the other side mm -hmm. those sit in there yeah ah, gotcha so that becomes your marker yeah so you're just going to pull that down oh what a clever way of doing it yeah mm -hmm. so you don't have to measure yeah now i can tack that in place mm -hmm. let me tack that in place while you do an update awesome yeah? thank you yeah God. that's okay <laughs> I, I'll keep you in. Thank you. Well, you see, this is what this is. Um, You're in charge. <laughs> this is why John and I get on so well. <laughs> we we keep each other other under control, barely. I, I love it, barely, barely, barely. Yeah, go on. <laughs> well, what are you supposed to be doing now? Mary had a little lamb. She <laughs> had a bear. <laughs> I've often seen a little lamb. I've never seen, seen a her bear. bear. Thank goodness. Yeah. Bum bum. Uh, <laughs> it is World Poetry Day. I've got a poem for you right at the end, actually, sent in by a viewer. It's about you, Yvonne. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Impressions God, no. of Japan. Month two. Month two. Cranes, Blossoms and Sashko. Um, single figures left. Single figures left. Check out your basket if it's sitting there, please. Even if you haven't finished month one, please, please, please don't assume that next month we're going to have some of these left or we're going to have any more stock in because we almost certainly won't. Um, Yvonne did extras for us this month and they went out in a heartbeat. A few extras for month one, they went out in a heartbeat. So they're really, you do need to get month two today. Keep up each month, even if you haven't finished or even started month one, so that you get the full, complete quilt. That's Impressions of Japan month two, all right? 
Now we've also got a rather beautiful needle case and pin cushion right here. This is gorgeous. Oh, brilliant price too. $14.99 for the kit and you get everything in there that you're going to need bar, I suppose you need a little bit of stuffing for the pin cushion? Uh, yes, a little bit that's of the but only thing. Everything I think you need. And look, it, it ties up here. This is lovely. The fabrics are beautiful. You've got your little pin cushion. Isn't, isn't that be a thing of beauty? And you've got your sheets of felt in there to park your needles. You could have a different page for different kinds of hand or machine needles. Place to park some pins while you're working. I even love, look how Yvonne's finished off the ends of the cord, almost like little tulips. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, little. aren't they lovely? And then just tie up the whole thing like that. Now you get the full kit, you get the fabrics, these fabrics, they're all in there, look. And this gorgeous, elegant, is that a Japanese top? Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a woven. Beautiful, woven. beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, beautifully put together there from Yvonne and her team for fourteen ninety nine. That's a thing of beauty, isn't it? I, you know, that's one thing I really admire about the, the, the Japanese sewers. Everything they make is exquisite. It Those little so things. So elegant. Elegant. So yeah. elegant. Really lovely. And, you know, as well, a lot of the quilts that are in the, like the Japanese exhibitions, it's sort of one quilt that might take two years to make. It's all intricate and hand-sewn mm. and detail, detail, detail. It's just... Lovely. This is going to sell out. This is going to sell out. Now I've got one more thing. It's the pattern for the kimono placemat. We had a kit, but it sold out. You spotted it. But we have got the pattern. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. Like, a, like a mini kimono with sash with obi and uh, just very elegant, beautiful. Yeah, put some... Uh heat resistant wadding inside great idea and uh, you're away or mm. add some additional embellishment and it becomes a wall hanging if you, you could you could that. absolutely lovely it's gorgeous and um so you've got the pattern there for 9.99 i think that's a great buy what a lovely thing to make very special, lovely thing to make for, for someone and gift them as well. Well, that's, that's, where, it cre that's where it started as a, a wedding gift for oh, my niece. Lovely. Because I have a sort of a Japanese theme for their wedding mm -hmm. um, because they were going to Japan for their honeymoon and I thought, ah, okay. Oh, perfect, well, music to your ears. Exactly. Uh, single figures left of the pattern, by the way. Now we've got some friction pens. Um, Yvonne was mentioning earlier on using friction pens and using different colours to mark out the sashiko. Yeah. So you get a pack of four and you get black, blue, green and red. So kind of a colour for almost every uh, occasion. Every, fab every fabric. Yes, that's, that's the more the point, isn't it? Yes, and um, especially where you want to use two different colours, perhaps one for the grid, one for the stitching line for your sashiko. Now, 10.99 for a pack of four. If you were to buy one individual, say the green pen on its own, yeah. from us, you can, 3.99. So four of those would come to almost 16 pounds. Yeah. But the pack of four pens, all together, 10.99. Really good value way of doing it. And I, you know, I thought I'd run out of friction pens the other day. Oh. And I didn't know what I was going to do because I'm so used to using them now for things like quilting. I don't oh, yeah. know what else to do. I'm marking up. Yeah. yeah. Right. There's one other little piece I want to show you because yes, please. The, the joining piece for the uh, for the sashing is slightly different. So all you're doing is you you have a rectangle that you have cut, and you have a squ uh, of the blue fabric, and you have a white square. This white square you are folding once along its diagonal and you are placing on either side getting all your raw edges together and I'm going to pop it just a couple of pins in mm -hmm. in the meanwhile there and there 
because what I've done with the, uh, the finished sample is it's a matter of rolling back this little folded edge so you create an, an arch. Let me just, uh, the little applique pins are very useful at this point. The fabric naturally wants to curl backwards, doesn't it? Does it? Because, because it's on the bias. I, yeah. Um, and I hand stitch this down. Um, you don't have to. You could use a fancy stitch on your sewing machine, which mm -hmm. would add another element to the, um, the session. Um, let's see if I can make that curl back and then I can pop it in place. I'm with you though, sometimes hand stitching is the easiest way. Often it's machining, but here... It can sewing. be the quickest yeah. way yeah. because you have control yeah. uh, on the small piece where when you put it under a sewing machine, you do lose some of that control. So this is... Um, five, Are those clover five. applique pins you're using yeah. there? Gorgeous. Yeah. Got them on screen, six ninety nine. They're very short. They're absolutely about perfect a, for they're about a centimetre long, yeah. if that, and I would be lost without them. Yeah. I have my little sort of carbuncle here, which goes on my finger, and of course they just, they, the, the, it's easy mm. to stick them in there. So that is what that horizontal piece will look like yeah it's month two that's month two done yeah can we have a quick look while we're here at month three and see what we've got <gasps> to look forward oh, to gosh. Yvonne I haven't done a single thing to prep for it yet all right so. you've got a whole month uh, oh I've got, got a whole month I've... but nothing else to oh, think about oh look at that look at that sashing <laughs> Look at how many pieces there are look, in each one inch look. square. You've already done it. You've already done it. <laughs> Here's month number three. Yeah. Talk us through. <laughs> okay. Well, we have um, some beautiful creams in the reeds here. So we have two different green fabrics there, mm -hmm. a batik and a metallic. And I, again, I've used the right side and the wrong side. So you've actually got three different uh, colorways going through here. Gorgeous, yeah. A very stylized floor, mm -hmm. uh, French knots in the middle, sashiko net design in the That's background. Lovely. Some more blossom with a trellis. So we're doing some, uh, they're not bias strips because they don't need to be to mm -hmm. make the trellis. They are just uh, straight, but I have made them, haven't stuck them down, I haven't bonded them down, I have made them. As a, as a bias strip mm -hmm. in, in three so that you have a different level. Mm -hmm. Some embroidery for tendrils going round the um, trellis. And then I've sort of gone a bit crazy on that sashing, haven't I? It's lovely. <laughs> um, very tiny. Um, very I, beautiful too. I, it just put the colour in the right places. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. Each month you can work on small elements that come together to create an absolutely magnificent piece of work at the end of it all. It's just lovely, isn't it? Do you have a favourite panel? <sighs> the thing is, there are so many different appealing elements to it. I colour what For colour, this one, month number four, because I'm autumn through yeah. and through. And I just love that. I also love the, the tea kettle and the cups, the teapot. I do love that. I love all the embroidery in the willow tree. Really? That's magnificent. I, everywhere I look on this quilt, Yvonne, there's something beautiful, isn't there? What about you? Is, do you have a favourite Um I, I kind of do in that I love this one. You see, this is my colourway. Yeah, gorgeous. Down here. Is that wisteria? Wisteria mm -hmm. over a moon. And then sort of like a, there's a, a shadow circle here as well that is stitched. I, the lanterns are gorgeous as well, yeah. aren't they? I, I, yes, you see, this is, while, while that's your colour, yeah. this one's probably mine. There's something for everyone in there. Oh, absolutely. It's just wonderful. Now, uh, you're back in a month's time? Yeah, on the 17th of April. And I think Pop I'm doing two shows. Excellent. Yeah. Double the fun. Uh, well, thank you so much, Yvonne. Oh, you're very welcome. It's I hope you fun. have a fabulous month. I know it's a busy one for you, but also oh, really yeah. good luck for the opening of your new shop on... The 6th of April.
Fantastic. And could I just put a little bit? I'm, I'm giving a talk uh, on Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, Puppy Down Quilters, and it's they, they do it once a year, and they are always uh, collecting money for local charities. Whereabouts are they based? Where's and the talk? Royal Wooten Bassett. Fabulous. So, um, Tickets they available? I, I'm not actually sure. I think it's the hottest ticket. Have a look online, yeah. see if you can so get along to Just because, you know, tour. they are supporting uh, two local charities in the Swindon area. Fabulous, fabulous. Um, well, good luck with that. Thank you. And we'll see you next month. I will uh, be please here. don't go anywhere because after the break, I've got Sally Ann Harrison with not one but two fabulous three dimensional projects, including that amazing woven flower basket. Oh, it's it. gorgeous, isn't fabulous. it? Fabulous. I can't wait. Stick yep. around for that, Yvonne. It's wonderful. See you after this. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products, we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia. Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Hey, 
wonderful having your company today on Sewing Street. I completely forgot to read the poem at the end about Yvonne. It, she's in the green room. Yvonne, if you're listening, there was a young lady called Yvonne. There's that young again. Uh, who appeared on Sewing Street anon with her Japanese designs and the fabrics that shine. She was here and the next she was gone. <laughs> Wonderful. That was from Steph. Absolutely fab. Thank you for that. Right. This hour is all about Sally Ann Harrison Designs. Hey, welcome back, Sally. Great to be back. Great to see you again. Yvonne. We've got some. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've not met Yvonne uh, before. Really nice. Yeah, we've had a great morning. It's been absolutely fab. And we've got some wonderful designs from Sally Ann Harrison. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Over here. Yeah. Hiya. Um, right. Shall we do... Let's do kits first. Right. So, let me just show you first of all. So, Sally Ann has done this incredible wall hanging, the Liberty Shoes. And they're, look, they're three-dimensional. They're just absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So cool. Now, in today's show, what we've got, Project One is it's well it's a new it's a pin cushion isn't it and mine have gone <laughs> i was just looking <laughs> they are for them not here they They've are not here run away <laughs> um so we've got a pin cushion which uses one pair of shoes on a little pin cushion now what you what you get in your kit is you get the instructions now this is for the wall hanging that i've just shown you okay you also get a special insert in there to make the pin cushion you also then get some liberty fabric for both the shoe and the pin cushion backing itself thanks dan and you also get, what's that? What's that? Some That's felt? the felt for the bottom. Ah, the for, for the, the bottom base, for yeah. the base. So here's your pin cushion here. Look, how fab is this? And you put the pins, look, into the back of the shoe. <laughs> so you get your felt there for the bottom. So you get your instructions for the wall hanging, the supplementary pattern to make the pin cushion the fabric to make one pair of shoes, the background and the felt for the bottom for $17.99, okay? Now I've got three different kits. This is the first, the graphics are for the red one. This features this gorgeous uh, red floral print for the shoes, white Liberty for the background, felt for the base and the patterns, remember, for wall hanging and pin cushion. Absolutely fab. I've got low teens, low teens of this left. Okay. Deirdre from Surrey says, I love the girl. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one? All of them. All of them. Love the We're girl. all loved. I lo you know what? <laughs> I love the girl too. <laughs> love it. So that's your red. That's your red. I love the girl. I love the boy too. <laughs> the... the blue. Blue. Oh, I'm just thinking, was it the previous quilt? The which panel do you love the best? Was it that? I love the girl, the geisha, maybe? Hmm. We may never know. No. <laughs> the blue is next. So you get pattern for the wall hanging. Remember, this, this is what terrific value you're getting here is. You get the pattern to make the wall hanging. Okay. And you could do nine blocks if you prefer or yeah. 16 or a single row of five. However you want to do it. You then also get the supplementary pattern for the pin cushion, which is an added extra. You then get the fabrics to create the pin cushion. And just to show you again, this wonderful, what a gorgeous project, sort of origami folded shoe with the sort of padded back that you can push your pins into. You get fabric for one pair of shoes. It's all Liberty, beautiful. You get your white Liberty for your background. You also get your white felt for the base. 
all of that for 17.99 absolutely fabulous isn't it and a lovely opportunity as well i think on the shoes to add your own little embellishments That's some trims fun, some really really fun, fun. yeah Single figures about to sell out in the blue. My last colourway, my last kit, pretty, pretty multicoloured floral there. Peach and pink, yellow, red, blue, a little bit of green there. Fewer than 20 to start the show. Uh, you got that. Now, how much fabric do we get? Is that a fat quarter? A fat quarter of your bright, a fat eighth of the white for the top of the pin cushion. I think these amounts are quite generous. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, and also you get your felt as well for the base of your pin cushion. What actually makes it hard? So there's a little bit of cardboard in bit there. Cardboard, yeah. yeah and also um, there's some bosal R form, so it's some oh. cardboard and a couple of layers little of bosal. Scraps. Yeah. Little scraps. Um, a little bit of padding inside the shoe. You get all of that plus your pattern, remember, and the pattern is wall hanging and supplementary pin cushion so you really are getting a lot of value for 17.99 i'm not surprised that all of these kits are flying towards selling out they're all on single figures now uh instructions on their own we gotcha we gotcha now also as well you get a qr code been blacked out but you get a qr code and if you scan that qr code where does it take me sally it takes you it's a, a youtube link so it'll just open up and it'll show you the two elements of the shoe which are the heel and the toe and that's exclusive isn't it yes oh yeah absolutely you could only access that with that special code. yes oh it's not it's not listed on youtube it's an unlisted private mm -hmm. um video yeah so awesome so you get extra value in with your pattern as well Fab. Now, um, obviously yours won't have sample written across the top. That's just mine. That's special. <laughs> but you get your pattern. It's extensive. There's loads of detail in there. I know that the shoes look, spe they look spectacular. They look like they're going to be really difficult. They're not. Sally really does explain the technique in such great detail. There's written instructions, there's photographic instructions, and there's a supplementary video. Uh, this is the fun part, isn't it? That's Adding cool. those embellishments. With the, with the pattern as well, it gives you key stages in making the toe and making the heel, and those key stages are also referred to in the video. So like I say in the video, now we've reached key stage six or whatever okay. and you can check that you're there so oh, that's cool it's the sort of thing that I like to sort of have on my phone and I prop it against my sewing machine and I'm just like okay don't like, go stop yes. go stop and you yes. can follow it through you can work alongside exactly yeah, yeah. I yeah. like that a yeah. lot um do you do you love your shoes <laughs> I do I'm a shoe fan yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just gorgeous. But also, what a fabulous way then, once you've got your pattern, you can either make your wall hangings, you can make your pin cushions as gifts. Um, and then, you know, you, no scrap will ever be a scrap. You'll be thinking, oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah. I can make a pair of shoes out of those. I've seen other people also put them like in a shadow box. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that works well. And if you have my previous dresses pattern, I've seen people mix them with dresses. So they've got dresses and shoes. Dresses very and nice. shoes. Again, another way of sort of setting it up. Very nice. Mandy from Aberdeenshire has got in touch to say, Morning, Stuart and Sally Ann. I just loved, I uh, just bought the blue shoe box kit. I love mean, your new book too. Love all your makes. Oh, Lots thank of you, kisses. Mandy. Gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, the blue kit, by the way, has just sold out. Uh, Amanda from Kent says, thank you for this morning. I've been waiting for these kits and have got both. That's Ooh. from Sally Ann. Also, wonderful to hear back from you, Jenny. She says, happy to watch with you in the knowledge that I passed my health MOT this morning, ready for retirement in June. Right. Yeah. A nation cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Dead is cheering, right? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful news. Great. What a happy day. A message, a message. Two fantastic designers. Quality in-depth detail popped two projects in my basket. Money per hour. Hobby outstanding on cost of item. Thank you. Thank you. Well, just to keep you happy, Susan, that is wonderful. Wonderful. Now, uh, we do have another project from Sally Ann. Uh, because things are flying out. It is, oh, the basket. Um, this is the original. I'll show you the colorway that we've got, but it's a woven basket. 
There's liberty inside the basket, a <laughs> fabric, and also these wonderful flowers. Uh, it's just a thing of beauty, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. These are actually individual pin cushions. Okay, so you've got your little basket. So you could put something else in there as well. I'm thinking Easter gifts. I'm thinking oh, all kinds of things. Great technique to have, my goodness. Chocolate sake. eggs. I'm making a few of these, <laughs> making them, emptying them. Um, and then look, but these are also incredibly giftable. You could do this as a terracotta pot, couldn't you, instead? And just have it as a standalone little gift pin cushion. I think these are absolutely adorable, wonderful. And then they go inside the little basket. What a fabulous project. This is going to fly out, by the way. If you want to get this, I would be really, really quick. I was thinking I'd about that on my way in this one. I was thinking the templates in the back, if you wanted to, you could also make yourself like a big flower, like a big daddy flower, yes. a really big one, or, and surrounded by some small ones. Oh, you that know? would be lovely. Yeah. I want a daddy flower. A daddy flower, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the kit. Oh, pattern on its own. Okay, pattern on its own. Pattern on its own, $9.99. Basket, flowers, the whole kit and caboodle, it's all included in there. Again, a really extensive, this is a thick pattern because there's lots of technique, lots of different steps, a lot of skills that you're going to repeat and use in other ways as well, I'm absolutely sure. Beautiful project, this, $9.99. It's going in my basket. And then if you want the kit, Got the kit. Got your pattern. You got your pattern. So you're paying an extra $14.99 for all of this, for all of this. Half a metre of Liberty. Goodness gracious, this is amazing value. Lots of different felts to create your flowers, to create your leaves your stems, your flower centers, and of course you've then got your fabric to create your basket as well, all included. That is a big kit, a lot of value there for $24.99. Don't forget that half meter of liberty, which you're going to use and really sort of celebrate the beauty in your basket of flowers. That's amazing, that's amazing. $24.99, be quick though. Be quick, this isn't going to hang about. This isn't going to hang about. We've also got Sally Ann's fabulous book, Elevate Your Scrap Sewing. We'll come to that in just a little while. I've got my copy. Have you got yours? <laughs> Let's do shoes. Let's do shoes. We'll get the pattern in on its own. £11.50 for the pattern. All of the kits now, by the way, have sold out. Only way to get involved is with the pattern. Now, you do get the pattern for the uh, quilt, but you also get a supplementary pattern to create the pin cushion. Okay, you use the techniques from the main pattern for the shoes, and then you get supplementary instructions to turn it into a pin cushion. Sally Ann, what can you show us? <sighs> okay, so here is the actual. Look at all the shoes. I love <laughs> the shoes. Right. So yeah, the um, the quilt is very much like the quilt that I made for the the dresses. So basically, in the instructions, I tell you how to make the quilt. So you would end up making a box for your shoes, mm -hmm. and then you construct four boxes for the and, and join them together with yep. the sashing. Yep. Um, and then I actually make the quilt in its entirety. Does that make sense? Yes. So I, I completely, so I layer it up and I quilt it. So I've quilted so into the of, boxes. So sort of, no. imagine the shoes aren't there. Yep. You've made your boxes. So you've layered, you've quilted it, you've bound it. Yep. No shoes, still no shoes at this point. Yep. Um, and Love how you've quilted in the background here. So I've cross hatched that and I used a, a Sashko machine to do that. I must admit, I didn't hand stitch. I wish I could say I did, but I didn't. Well, but actually a lot of sewing machines, including your brother FS250 and your Elna 680, have a hand stitch 
machine yeah stitch. there is a stitch on the machine where you use a monofilament it's yeah. combined yeah. with a like a 50 weight cotton isn't it and it brings it up every so often it, it, it imitates it looks like a running stitch yeah so it could be a cool stitch to try because like like you said a lot of machines do have that yeah 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 really lovely so you do all of that um so you've almost got a complete quilt with yep. empty boxes done and then you make your shoes. And I would probably would have bound it as well. I, yeah. With the binding, I can't remember with the binding on that one. Is that a front to back or? It, you stitched it to the back first, brought it to the and front and then a the running front. stitch. Yeah. That's so a nice. So I would have done that as, as well before yeah. I actually did, made the shoes. I like to try and sort of balance the colourway. So then I'm, I'm back to, okay, I've got a blank quilt top and I'm, what colour shoes am I going to make? Mm. Um, and as you say, you follow the instructions in the pattern and the video to make the shoes mm -hmm. so I've got like a few samples of shoes here and also in the pattern there's the I don't know if you can see that on camera mm -hmm. it comes yep. with so I've actually printed off the where it says Liberty shoe box so you've got those in the pattern as well oh really the little shoes. oh so you do so those are just printed onto um what do you call it uh the photo paper the inkjet mm -hmm. photo paper that you put through your printer yep. and then cut out um, and then you hot iron it don't you to set the ink and then they're just cut out and stuck inside the shoes it really adds such a fabulous touch doesn't it yeah like a proper great. little pair of shoes. shoes so and the shoes to actually sort of glue them I use um was it high tech? But I'm sure you've supplied me with something else before, which oh, is the Gutemann. Oh, we've got the Yeah, which is worked just just yeah, as well. The Gutemann. Yeah. So the Gutemann as well. So that was, uh, is it called something like T5 or something like, a like that? Like a tube. Yeah. yeah. Hannah, do you know the name of the glue that we do? The Gutemann. Is it called something like T5 or something like that? We'll find it. We'll find. Yeah, it, it worked great. So I've used that one before. So in this particular shoe as well, I. It's got a different colour inner mm -hmm. to the outside, and I show you how to do that in the pattern. You don't have to do that. You can just go for a completely, you know, just a one colour, or you mm. can go for just a two colour. Fab. It goes together as two elements, um, and then you're sort of down to the sort of decoration of how you want to decorate them. And this one's like just got bows, and you've got these little bits of trim that I've cut cut up. Like mm -hmm. a, it was a long strand of trim and I just cut individual pieces those are really cute and then you can try just the bead as well I think those ones are actually sewn through you sew those on um, what other things have I used on them oh I've used um, little bits of ribbon as well where I've actually put ribbon around oh, the yeah. sides there are some gorgeous little elements here as well look so like here for example little bit of almost like Battenberg lace with some uh, tiny buttons stitched on um, here you've got like little ribbon running around the outside of the shoe plus a matching bow that's gorgeous um, little pre-folded ri uh, ribbon roses they're really cute pearls have a look on our sister channel for things like beads jeweled elements cabochons yeah. all sorts of things you'd go wild <laughs> Sally Ann, don't I, look at our sister. I channel. bought something from it the other day. Did you? You've already <laughs> discovered it. Naughty. Was it wonderful? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Uh, gorgeous. And then, do you hand sew the shoes to the quilt so, or? So those um, are actually hand sewn on on there, but you don't have to have them like that. You could use um, like those little sticky Velcro tabs. Um, mm -hmm. I've used those before. So you put like a couple of sticky Velcro tabs on the bottom, and then a couple of sticky Velcro tabs. You know in in your box yes and then that makes them removable so you can change your shoes <laughs> according to the season Brilliant. yeah <laughs> that's a really nice idea <laughs> that's a really nice idea uh viv's got in touch to say it's gutterman is it ht2 that's it thank you that's it thank you ht2 yeah this yeah. would be um, a great i mean i haven't got any grandchildren i'm still waiting Still hinting. <laughs> um, but yeah, this would be uh, fun to You've sort of do. You've got Maisie. <laughs> fun to do. With, I've got Maisie. You've got Maisie. Yeah, I don't think she's going to make any of these though. <laughs> but it was, it's fun to do with, with grand, grandkids. You know, yeah. you can start off with paper, move on to fabric. Have you made Maisie dog a quilt? No. Well, come on. <laughs> Back on. 
crack on. Gorgeous, absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely, isn't it? Now we've also got the flower basket, which uh, you're going to show us how to make this, aren't you? Yes, so I've got gorgeous, all the bits and pieces. Steps. So remember, you've got this gorgeous woven flower basket. You can get the pattern on its own. You can get a kit. The kit's amazing value, absolutely amazing value. Let me show you again. You get your full instructions. Are there QR codes for videos? No, not in no. this one. You need to watch watch yeah. the demos. You get your half meter of liberty. You get your fabrics for the basket. Then you also get all of your felts to create the flowers. Abs there's loads here. It's absolutely loads in the pattern. It's absolutely brilliant kit. Absolutely brilliant kit. So grab yours while you can. It's twenty four ninety nine. Um, the other thing that uh, you've used inside the, the sort of the stem, the pot of each individual flower, there's something heavy weighting it down. What is it? So it's a little bit of walnut shell. Crushed walnut shell. Yeah. Which we happen to have right here. This is a 250 gram bag. That's oodles, isn't it? Absolutely loads, yeah. Fenty. Uh, could I just have the details for the crushed walnut shell? Thank you. Um, 250 grams of crushed walnut shell. Does this also help when you like sticking pins in? Does it sharpen the pins? I'm not or? sure. Mm. I'm it not does, sure. apparently. It does, does it? Okay, apparently. there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But saying that, um, what the way I use it in the pattern, so I use it to weight the base mm -hmm. of the flower, um, and then as I move towards the top, I put some um, poly, for, you know, some poly stuffing, which was, polyfill stuffing at the, at the top. I'm just wondering, Sally Ann, could these be used as pattern weights when you're dressmaking? Because yeah. they're a little heavy. Yeah. yeah, they would be. Wouldn't? Oh, can you imagine making a few of these as your pattern weights? Uh, Christine <laughs> from County Durham says, whoop, I got the shoe quilt pattern and some gorgeous Liberty fabric and I got £10 off with my Sewing Street birthday Whoa. voucher code. So happy. Christine, that's a happy dance. Well done, Christine. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Well done. Well done. Uh, £7.99 for your crushed walnut shell. This is gorgeous. It reminds me of the, the crushed walnut shell. Reminds me of the, the feel of it. It's nice. It reminds me of when I was at school and you used to have like bean bags. Bean bags. Yes. And that, that sort of feel, isn't it? It's like Sally Ann, can you hand out the bean bags, please? <laughs> With a basket. And you know, oh, the responsibility. <laughs> Crushing. <laughs> Love that. Love that. So where do we start? Okay, so with the pattern, it's quite an extensive pattern. So initially what happened is this started out as just being three pin cushions, three flower pin cushions, and they sort of like wandered around my sewing room. Um, and then I came up with the idea a little while later to actually make a basket to put the three pin cushions in. And that's why the pattern is, is essentially in two parts. It's make the flowers, then go on and make your basket. All the templates are full size templates and Great. they are right at the back. Now to lift off the templates, you use freezer paper and you'll also use some fusible web, mm -hmm. but we'll talk about like, that as we go like, through. Like um, bonder web? Heat and bond, bonder web, oh, cool. soft yep. fuse, that sort yep. of thing. Okay, so that's the templates. So you can see I've, I've got some of the templates that I've just peeled off using freezer paper, but I'll show you how they're used. Okay. So if you start off by looking at the flowers, so I've got a few sample flowers here. So the oh, they look cute. The flowers are actually made of... Just watch your head, Sally. Ooh, two layers of... Is that better? Am I better in shot? Two layers of felt, and there's some fusible in between. Okay. One of the things that I would definitely say is, in the pattern, I talk about fusing the two layers and then... Um, and how well they stick together. Mm -hmm. Mine didn't stick very well together, but when I fused this felt, it did. Mm -hmm. So that is my top tip is, when you fuse, fuse it, fuse it very lightly to start off with, um, because being able to actually open and pull, pull these apart is a good way to bury your stitching, your oh, hand okay. stitching. Mm -hmm. So yeah, don't go over like... Do you absolutely need to bother? Could you pin them together? You could pin them. Yeah, perhaps that might be safer rather than using the fusible. So I've got two examples of ones that were done on a sewing machine. So this is just 
two layers of felt plus the, um, the fabric center and all I've bonded together and all I've done is a straight stitch on this one. A little chance to dig into your little tiny scraps here, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. To find those favorite little scraps for the flower centers if you want to mix it up a bit. And this one I've done slightly differently. So this is a blanket stitch and I've done it on a sewing machine. And what I did is I traced off. So I've got, again, I've got two layers. I traced off using freezer paper, the flower, and I put it on the felt. Then I drew around it. Mm -hmm. Then I stitched around it on the line using the um, blanket stitch on my sewing machine. Got you. And then I cut it afterwards. Cut it back. Yes. Stitching. Yes. So Which you to... method did you prefer? Um, I preferred that cutting it back to the stitching. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's another way of of doing it. You do you do have to be a little bit bit careful that you don't clip the stitching as you go round. Yeah. But could you use a satin stitch? You could do. Just well, so line. it might, yeah, it might be a little bit too heavy. I did think about a satin stitch, but it might be a little bit too heavy for the edge. I don't know. You could try it out. Yeah, experiment. It's, there's plenty of, you know, as you said, there's plenty there yeah, to sort those. of like see what you like. Just thinking I might grab some variegated threads. Yep. And do a little bit of, yeah, a little That's bit of fun. something. Mm. Um, and then the other way you could do it, obviously, is by hand if you're a hand stitcher. So I brought along pink one just to do a little bit of blanket stitch so just so this is like a, a 12 weight pearlé thread mm -hmm. I, so I'm just going to do just give you an idea if you've never done blanket stitch before it is very soothing <laughs> I don't know there's just something about doing it isn't there that's <laughs> like oh yeah this is so nice I think Yvonne was Yvonne doing this did I look look up and see her doing a little bit of blanket stitching on a flower yeah, so, the, well, Yvonne usually, I think, does her blanket stitch on the machine. Yeah. But it's lovely to sit and do by hand, isn't it? Yeah. And these are very portable as well. And we have got lots of different colours of felt, by the way, felt sheets on the web. If you want to have a look, um, there are a variety of different colours. And then you could sort of mix and match and make your own bouquet, couldn't you? Yeah. It is like a bit of a therapy thing isn't it hands oh yeah yeah mindful yeah and also you know if you've got doctor's appointments or you know you take the kids to sports meets or things like that you know you could take along a bit of hand stitching just make yourself up a little little baggy with your with your sewing in your yeah. thread your needles some scissors and it just means that when you're sort of hanging about you're not hanging about yeah you're still you're doing, doing something, something. yeah Okay, so that just gives you an idea. That's rather a large blanket stitch, but it gives you an idea of what it's, what it's like. And it is fun to do. And you're going to get it sort of like right on the edge there. And so when you'd finished sewing that, then you'd actually go ahead and fuse in your centerpiece. Mm -hmm. So this is just, again, fusible web on the back. And you'd pop that in there. And then you'd sew round, hand sew around that as well, right the way through the entire piece. Cool. Okay. So just to let you know, by the way, Half the stock of the pattern on its own has gone. Half the stock of the kit has also gone. If you want to get either of these, now is the golden opportunity. 20, oh, excuse me, 24.99. 24.99 for the kit. You get all that lovely felt for your flowers, your basket. And then you also get half a meter of lovely Liberty and your pattern included. Um, you can see on the front, Sally Ann's using each one as a pin cushion. These could be used as pattern weights. It could just be a lovely decorative thing. You could also, also, of course, use these as a separate thing, pattern weights or little gifts or little pin cushions. The baskets, I think you're gonna make loads of and put little gifts in. I'm still thinking chocolate eggs. Chocolate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Actually, they're one thing I can't resist. You know, the little mini eggs. Yes, exactly. I can't resist. <laughs> they are, so, normally, I can like have one sweet and then go, I'm, I've had enough, especially chocolate. But mini eggs, I'll just eat the whole bag. <laughs> can't do it. Not allowed. Um, now, I do have a question for you. Um, Jackie's got in touch to say, my son has a walnut allergy. Can you recommend anything else that can be used in sort of weights or pin cushions, that sort of thing? Sand. Sand. Yeah, aquarium sand. Aquarium sand. Yep. 
clean, it's hygienic. Yep. That's a good that's a great suggestion. Yeah, don't take sand off the beach. Aquarium mm -hmm. sand, sand is yep. the thing. Yeah. I mean we do also have polystyrene pellets, very, mm -hmm. which are very small. Yeah. Perhaps if you're going to use them as pattern weights, fine. I probably wouldn't use it as if it, they were pincushion weights. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but okay. yeah, so sand, aquarium sand. Thank you. Okay, um, okay so move, let's move on and look at the leaves. Yes, so please. again, the template's there for the leaves. Here are some leaves that I made earlier. So again, you could hand sew these. So like I, I touched on previously, these are two layers, yeah? Mm -hmm. And they are two layers specifically because you want to be able to insert some florist wire. Well, I've inserted some florist wire. It's not absolutely essential. I mean, it would still look good without the florist wire, in my mm -hmm. opinion. But the florist wire just gives you the chance to actually bend it into, into the shape that you want. Any particular gauge? It's 0.7, I think it was. 7, okay. Point. It's pretty easy to get hold of, isn't it? Yeah, it says 0.7 millimeter. Is it? 22 SWG I've got written against it. I'm going to take your word on that. Okay. So yes, so it gives you a chance to sort of fold it into into the shape that you yeah, want. Yeah, like that, see yeah? that. So going back to what I was saying, it's double layer and the idea is that you fuse it very lightly mm -hmm. and stitch around the outside edge and then insert the florist wire between the two layers. So you can see what the dilemma. If you fuse it too much, yes. then you're never going to get your florist wire in there. So you might want to consider, like you said, just pinning it mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. sewing around the edge and then inserting the wire. Do you put any glue inside as well or just insert the wire as it is? Just insert the wire as it is okay. and then once the wire is in there, I tend to fuse it afterwards as well because ah, then that course. keeps the wire in position. Perfect. There's your glue. Yep. There's your glue. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, so here's two leaves that we've just got a straight stitch. Can you see those? And two leaves with a blanket stitch. And once you've made them and inserted the wire, then you need to clip the wires back because your wires are going to sit underneath your flowers mm -hmm. and begin and into the stem like this. So that's how you make those. Sally, I'm thinking these would make lovely sort of decorations on hats, corsages, yeah. bags. Yeah, they would do. dimensional embellishments. They would do, yeah. I'm always looking for extras in a, in a pattern. There's yeah. so much value in this pattern. Okay, so let's move those Flowers over. Flowers done, leaves done. Okay, stems. Yes. Right, let's talk stems. Um, the stems that I made in my original one was, was Essex linen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's interfaced and folded over. And to be honest, it's a bit of a faff. But in your pattern, when, when it, the kit came through, you supplied me with enough of the green to make green stems. And I'm thinking, why didn't I make green stems in the beginning? Fair enough. <laughs> Little flower pot. It's so much easier, and uh, and they're all written and they're green. So mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So really, this one is just a case of you cut your strip the size it says in the pattern, and then you insert your little circular base. Now, inserting that little circular base is a little bit fiddly, but what I did to make it, I found the easiest way was to hand stitch it all the way around the bottom first. And then using a, um, a small quarter inch foot on my sewing machine, I put it to a small stitch and I put it under my sewing machine to yeah. get it really firm. Could you just hand sew it with really small stitches? Yeah, you could do, yeah. Because I, I was saying to Yvonne earlier on, most of the time I go for my sewing machine, but there are times when hand sewing is the best option. Yeah, there are. Mm. Yeah, definitely. You Great. could just hand sew it. And then it's just got a little edge turned over on the top just to um, give it a little bit more support. Yep. One thing about, I would say about sewing a circle in a base as well, is I would fold it in half before I started and I would mark the halfway point on each side and I would mark the halfway point on each side of here and then I would use those little cl clips to get it right in position and match those points exactly yes. before I started uh, attempted sewing round because otherwise you'll just end up chasing it. Yeah. Yeah. Ending with, up with a little bulge. Yeah, you will. Mm. Yeah. Great. Okay. okay. So pots made. Yeah. I am thinking I I might use like a sort of terracotta rusty brown. Yeah. So it looks like a little flower uh, in pot. In the flower as well. pot. Yeah. 
I could imagine We're making saying that loads there's, there's of loads cookies. of the brown there. Let's yeah, see if you could use. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's so flowers, pots, all done. Yes. Yep. Basket. So, okay, so the basket. Okay, let's take it right back. Now the basket starts life as was it one two? So it's. It's three layers, one layer of felt, two layers of fabric, and one layer of, and the bows on our form. And I tell you in the pattern how to join it together. Mm -hmm. um, and I've sewn along the top just to neaten the edge. So I've got, like, in the pattern, I actually go into depth as to what order you need to have, have it in, because this sure. is the interior. The bows gives it the body. The, on the exterior, you've got another layer of fabric and that is there because when you bend it after you've woven it, a little bit of fabric will show through. If, even if you sort of tightly weave it, you're mm -hmm. still going to get a little little punch of fabric. So that's why it's there, um, basically to cover up the cream bosal. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. no, it absolutely does. Okay. It does. Um, just want to mention, we've just put bosal in our form up on the screen. 13.99 for half a meter. I mean, obviously that's oodles for making the basket. You're also going to use it in your pin cushion as a top layer to the to the base. Um, I would say when you get your half meter, you know, make a bag, <laughs> and then the pieces that you've got left you can use for this. You'll have bits left, scraps mm. left. But if you haven't got any in our form, thank you, Dan, then grab yourself half a meter now. This is a single-sided fuse. Oh, this is a double-sided. Is it single-sided? Double-sided. So double-sided fusible, is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Yep, great. Absolutely fine. Um, actually, earlier on, sally Ann was using the Millwood pressing mat, and I didn't mention then, but when you're working within our form, because it's a fusible product, it's another opportunity to use your Millwood pressing mat. Oh, Stops it getting, especially if you're using the double-sided, because the dilemma is, it's down on the ironing board, you're fusing fabric to one layer, are you fusing the other side to your ironing board? Pop your millwood mat underneath, and then you're not fusing it to anything. That's clever. That's you need a good one tip. now. I told you, you tip. need one. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so when you've got it to this stage, then you're going to go along and you're going to cut into it at regular intervals, and it tells you how in the pattern. So I've gone all the way along this one. I just cut into the into the felt. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to lift it. This is the stage when you can start weaving it in. So I used um, a pinking, pinking shears on my strips, but you don't have to on my horizontal strips. Can you see I've cut them out with a little pink edge? Yes, so I like that. You don't have to do that. I've got like a, a rotary cutter with a pink edge. Mm -hmm. So you're set up now for your first row of weaving. So you, you're just going to slip in horizontally your contrasting strip. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to bring these down. So it's kind of every other. Yeah. OK. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew all the way through those layers. So I pop on a walking foot to ah, do that. OK. Um, to keep it all in position. Mm -hmm. And once you've done that one, then you'll do the same. Work out which way around I'm doing this now. These go back, I don't see, they? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to manoeuvre this. So it'll be easier for you to do this you because they'll be so the down. A little bit higher on the table, please. That's awesome. Thank you. The bit we needed to see was just underneath your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Fab. Under over, under over. Come on, you're all saying it at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you know, that reminds me of, you know, you can get that fancy Battenberg with yes. chocolate and lemon. Oh, I haven't seen chocolate and lemon. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We need to talk. Yes. Posh Battenberg. Mm, okay. Yes. So you put the second strip and then you do the same thing. You'd, you'd sew along with a walking foot so that it's all nice and secure. And then you trim it to the size that it gives you in the pattern. And then you're looking at beginning to curve it. So when you curve it, 
it gives you instructions on how to join it together. Yeah. That's very, in the yellow and the chocolate, that's very Easter basket, isn't it? Would you just tilt that back towards the camera so we can just see on overhead, please? Is it, look at that, isn't it? Do you know the other thing you could do? You could make the basket. You know, you can get those little chicks. Oh, little, gosh, yeah. Little, little fluffy ones. Out of, um, yeah. Pom-poms, couldn't you? You could make do. Pom -poms. Or little, little rabbits and pop them inside. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so that is the basket weaving. The handle, here is the handle. So that comes out of the dark brown felt as well. That contains a little bit of the Bosal R form. Mm -hmm. And again, it tells you how wide to cut that and how long in the pattern. You can wire it. Um, it's up to you, really. Yeah. Is here. So this is same gauge as the yeah. leaves. So here's another basket that I made using the same technique. And basically, you can see, you can then manipulate the, the handle a bit more. Mm. It's up to you whether you want, how robust you want your handle to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So that is the handle. And then... Here is the base. And the base is just the, um, the Bosal R form and two layers of fabric. And then I've just cross hatched it together mm -hmm. um, and cut the circle template. So do you, do you let quilt it first and then cut a circle out of what you've quilted? Yeah, so I, I cut like a rough square oh, okay. and then I, I, I sort of cross hatched it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I use the template, which seems to have run away at the minute, a freezer paper template and cut well, round you it. You had that a minute off. ago, didn't you? I did, it's probably done a oh, runner. Fine, yeah. I just think it might be on the floor. Don't know. Mm, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Would say. Yes. I'll probably find it stuck to me later. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let us know. <laughs> so then you're, once you've got, got your base ready, you're ready to actually get it into position. And again, I'd follow that same technique of find the two midway points, find the two midway points on your circle, put them in position, use some clover clips to clip them in and then sew around the outside edge. So then that will be the basket base mm -hmm. and that will be the basket handle. Fab. And the handle covers the join. So on one side, it will cover the join in the basket. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. That's clever. So you don't have to worry about a raw edge. No, no. So you, you end up with something that looks Roughly like like this, with the flowers in. Okay, it's not gonna play ball, but give you some idea. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So charming. It's fun to make. It is really fun to make. Mm. And if you've got like, I use like different pins in different. Pin it sounds a bit pedantic, doesn't it? But I use different pins and different pin cushions, like the applique pins are in one. Oh, yeah, the course. longer pins are in the other yeah. and the magic pins are in the other one. Very much so. <laughs> Organised. Yes, I like that. <laughs> also as well, because you want the right pin for the job. Yeah. Yeah. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could also use these for different kinds of machine needle, couldn't you? You could, You could almost yeah. colour code them. Yeah, you could. So you keep your, your quilting needles in one, your, your leather needles in another. In a top another. stitch in another, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a lovely project. It's rather beautifully timed for this time of year, isn't it, as well? <laughs> it's very think, spring, isn't it? Very spring. Yeah. Very spring, yeah. Have you got lovely plans for Easter? Um, Easter? I'm not when is Easter? Easter is the very end of March, 31st of March. No, no plans at the moment for no. Easter. Spending it at home? Yeah, definitely def definitely be at home. And home is? In Bristol. Bristol. Beautiful Bristol. Foodie lovers paradise. Is it? Oh, <laughs> apparently. Loads of lovely restaurants. Now, talking of lovely, Sally's book, Elevate Your Scrap Sewing Projects, 20 Beautiful Techniques Using Your Fabric Stash, is available on the show. $16.99. It's a wonderful collection of some amazing projects from Sally Ann, uh, some iconic uh, designs. And of course, you love your liberty. I do love my liberty. And, and you can't waste the scraps. You can't. No, exactly. They're, they're tiny little scraps. I mean, they're. They're quite expensive as well, and it's just a great way to use them up. I but totally agree, yeah. Look at that rope basket. <gasps> Look at that. Very beautiful. 
rope baskets, though, ought to come with a sort of government health warning because they're addictive. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. And a real mixture of techniques as well, mixture of projects. You've got cushions, you've got bags, you've got baskets, um, beautiful decorative items. This one's signed for me. <laughs> Very special. Oh, oh, I'm thrilled. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. And I'm thrilled that you've done it. Um, absolutely gorgeous. A quarter of the stock has already gone. If you want to get your uh, Sally Ann Harrison book, elevate your scrap sewing project. Because often we think of scrap projects as a bit sort of make do and mend. Yes. And a bit of a mishmash. These yeah. aren't a mishmash no. of anything. No, these are like getting them together and looking at the colours and thinking about how it's going to work within the project. It's about making it special and really sort of exhibiting them. Mm. That's that's what I was sort of aiming celebrating for. Celebrating Yeah, scraps. exactly. Yeah, yeah. celebrating the, yeah. the little scraps. Yeah. And yeah. also, if you're anything like me, different fabrics um, remind me of different places that I've been. You know, it's like memories. I don't take a huge lot of photographs, but I remember where I bought that fabric and that fabric and that fabric. <laughs> I think a lot of us can relate to that. <laughs> you know, and then when you put it in something, you make something and you put it in there, every time you use it, it's like, oh, that was my trip to Mevigissi or that was my trip to Italy or that was, yeah. you know? Oh, that, sound, that sounds lovely. Me, 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 Mevigissi? Yeah, have you not been to Mevigissi? I don't think I have. I've heard of it. It's, it's lovely. lovely. Yeah, quaint. Very fabric quaint. Shop. Uh, I can't remember going in a fabric shop there. That shock horror. But still, <laughs> despite that, still worth going to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's true. They do bring back such lovely memories, don't they? Or it might be sort of that you're using scraps from, you know, favourite dresses or children's clothes. Yeah. Lots of the patterns in your book can be used for that too, can't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, they have. So they can memory projects. Yes, memory projects. Are, yeah. yeah, there's lots of Oh, there. absolutely lovely. Lots of practical, beautiful projects in this book that will really, literally, as the book says, elevate your scraps. Loads and loads of you coming in for that. There is... um. Going back to what you're saying about the rope baskets, there is also a QR code in there for a rope basket video. Oh, nice one. That's so, a lovely touch. So, again, it, it ties back into what I was saying about having a little video on your... I'm, I'm yeah. just obsessed with having this little video on my phone that I can just stop, start, stop, start. Well, Sally, it's funny you say that. I've discovered now on my sewing machine that if I lift up the top, you know, where you... Yeah. You can see, yeah, well, I can actually sit my phone very nicely ah. there. So I'm watching, I'm sewing, sewing. I'm watching, I'm sewing. Fantastic. <laughs> I love on the back how you've put, throw away scraps... Never. I like how it's bigger, <laughs> dark. Never. Elevate them. All right. All right. Need to get I wasn't going to throw them away anyway. <laughs> but it's right. You know, I always say to people, that little tiny scrap costs you exactly the same money, inch for inch, as your meter yeah. or your yeah. jelly or whatever. So, yeah, we've got to value them. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. Perfect book. We're likely to sell out of the book. Uh, if you've managed to get yours, well done. You're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. Again, with the book, you can come and join the, the Facebook community. Great. Yeah, you just say that you bought the book from Sewing Street and Great. Just find me on the, you know. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Gorgeous. Thank you. Now, let's just recap the patterns that we've got for today. Shall we start with the shoes? So... Pattern on its own is the only option. You're getting the pattern, first and foremost, for the beautiful wall hanging, Liberty Shoe wall hanging. Absolutely exquisite piece. You could use any scraps. This could be Tilda. This could be your favourite French general fabrics. It could be a, you know, a collection of scraps from your dressmaking from over the years. You also get a supplementary pattern in there teaching you how to create a pin cushion. Now you can buy, can't you? You can get like traditional, like a boot or a shoe, often made of brass or metal or silver yeah. sometimes, can't, that have the little space in the side yeah. for pins. Yeah. This is a fabric, ver yeah, it's a fabric version. Absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So giftable. Lovely. Uh, you get details for both in your pattern for 11 50 
Now, my second pattern option for today, again, the only way you can get involved now, is the Liberty Flower pin cushion and a basket. Now, we have talked about lots of different ways you could use these, just as a beautiful thing, pattern weights, individual pin cushions, a basket to fill with chocolate, chocolate eggs. eggs. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> or, you know, vegetable sticks. No, no, no. Vegetable sticks, no. I'm trying to substitute something healthy, the but end. it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> or little pom -pom, wool pom-pom chicks and rabbits, all sorts of lovely things. But you get your full pattern, loads of lovely techniques in there. $9.99, great value, uh, to call it a recipe then <laughs> great value pattern brand new from sally ann harrison designs gorgeous um do we have any of the crushed walnut shell left if you need some crushed walnut shells these are you can use these for pattern weights you can use these for pin cushions crushed walnut shell 7.99 for 250 grams Great tip from Sally Ann. If you do have nut allergies, don't use these. Use aquarium sand instead. Okay, but obviously don't use these. I would say if you have any nut allergies at mm. all, I wouldn't use these. Yeah. Okay, cool. Great. Now, just wanted to grab out. I can. Oh! Ready? Oh, oh. oh, that's enough for that, thank you. Right, I have got the 782. It's a brand new machine from Elna that I just wanted to share. We were talking this, about this you earlier. And you were going, wow, you need to try this oh, machine. Oh, I you? mean, absolutely. I do need, please, the two boxes that go with this. The ASR and the feet package, please. So this is the brand new 782 from Elna. It's an incredible machine. Amazing sewing machine. Uh, thank you, Dan. Cheers. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, absolutely wonderful machine. The code says it all. Wow. Wow. Q29. Uh, an absolute ton of stitches, utility, decorative, heirloom, satin stitches, four alphabets. You've also got uh, numbers, symbols, uh, all that good stuff, all your punctuation as well. You have a monogramming feature. You can do one of the alphabets at nine mil wide. Absolutely wow. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Really cool. You get three different stitch plates with it. You get your standard zigzag plate you get your straight stitch plate and you also get an HP professional stitch plate plus professional narrow piecing foot and walking foot, professional grade, amazing. You also get your knee lift extension table. You get 25 different feet with this machine. Gosh. So it's just incredible, including a variety of quilting feet. Now this is where I'm gonna get rather excited because this machine comes with this little beauty. I was demonstrating this yesterday. It's called the ASR. And this is the Accurate Stitch Regulator. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab this out for a second. So don't be frightened by this. I know it looks a bit like, oh, hang on, what's that? Anything to do with computers, I instantly switch off, you know, but don't. So you've got your stitch regulator, which has a little camera on the bottom. It plugs into the back of your machine. So it fits on just like a walking foot, really. But it's got four different interchangeable sort of shoes, almost. An open toe, a closed toe, darning foot, a clear view, like a saucer-shaped disc, and also a ruler work foot, okay? And then basically, when it's plugged in, the camera picks up on how quickly or slowly you're moving your fabric for free motion quilting or free motion applique or thread painting. And it speeds up or slows down the machine in order to produce perfectly regulated stitch length. So you choose a stitch length, 2.5, 3, 3, whatever you want, and your machine will read how fast or slowly you're quilting, 
to create perfect regulated stitches. How cool is that? Cool. How cool is that? So I'm just going to move the machine out of the way for a second and show you. Yesterday, I was stitching with this machine. And I first of all, of course, you get your regular darning feet and a regular ruler work foot as well. But what I was trying to show yesterday was most of the time when we're quilting, when we start, we run our machine very fast and we move our machine quite slowly because we're a bit nervous. And what that creates is stitches so tiny, they almost perforate the fabric. So that doesn't work. So then we try working our machine really slowly and moving really slowly because we're a bit nervous. And that creates these great long, almost tacking stitches that you can strum. Like, I mean, we've all seen this on our quilts, right? And then with years of practice, maybe, we can more or less regulate our stitch length manually by how fast we run a machine and how fast we move. But it takes a heck of a lot of practice. And even then, you can get some stitches which are longer, some stitches which are shorter. You're constantly concentrating on the length of your stitch. And really, what you want to concentrate on is the lovely patterns you're quilting and the fun that you're having. And it's hard to do that when you're, when you're watching the length of the stitch. Now, with your ASR, your machine regulates the stitch length. So all you need to concentrate on is having fun and quilting. So here, I was working on some different free motion quilting stitches, including stitching in straight lines, where all I have to concentrate on is the pattern. And if you look, you'll see that my stitches are all a consistent length. Smooth, easy. My Elna 782 is doing that part of the job for me. Now, normal price for the Elna Excellence 782 is £3,799. That's the price that Elna want us to sell the machine for. We're a little bit naughty. We like to give you the best price we can. So our regular price for the Elna 782 is this. £3,599, £200 saving. That's worth the saving, right? £200 off the price. We also occasionally like to take a little extra off. Like yesterday, I nagged and cajoled and asked, can we do the launch price? And we got a yes, so that was great, so we did it. Today, I don't think we can do it, can we, Hannah? Uh, oh, hang on. It's better to ask forgiveness than ask permission, <laughs> right? There you go. There's our launch price. So you're saving £500, £3,299. It's a £500 saving on the recommended retail price. You get 25 feet. You get the stitch regulator with four adaptable shoes, an open-toed, a closed-toed darning foot, a clear view. I'll show you that. And a ruler work foot. So you don't need... I mean, a ruler work foot on its own is about £80. And you get it included. So look, you get, I'll show you here, you get your open toed. And all you do, to, they literally just pull down and off, okay? Here's your closed toe. To put them on, you literally just anchor these in at the side and then click. All metal, this is all metal, okay? Uh, then you've also got your, this is your clear view. Okay, so it's almost like a bullseye, like a flat disc. That's probably my favourite. And then there's your ruler work foot. So, I mean, the value that you're getting is absolutely incredible. There's your ruler work foot. £500 saving. Can't believe you did that, Hannah. That's awesome. Um, and it all comes in its special treasure chest because it is a little treasure. What do you think, sally -Ann? I think it's, it looks amazing. I mean, you, you said to me this morning when I was trying to pick a machine, you said um, you know, about, you know, could you go for the 782, uh, 782 yeah. and use it on demo, perhaps? perhaps yeah. not, but, but your words were, you need to try it. It's really smooth. Yeah, try smooth. it out first. I mean, I know you've got loads of machines yourself, but you said to me, it's so smooth. Oh, it's amazing. And actually, um, another fabric, uh, another sewing machine manufacturer brought out a stitch regulator some years ago, and I had have it 
on one of my machines and I rarely plug it in actually because it's a bit jerky. Snap. Between, yeah, yeah. I have it as well. Probably like, the same I don't shape, use it. jerky. Don't use it. No. This, different ball game. Yeah. The transition is so smooth. Literally from the first time I used it, it was spot on. Yeah. Um, and I and I used it live on air yesterday, and this is the kind of smooth stitch regulation that I mean I was going to say I achieved, but I didn't. My my Elna seven eight two did it, and I was able just to concentrate on my pattern, which was so much easier when I wasn't having to think about keep the speedy machine at this, keep the speedy movement at that. All I had to do was draw, and it's just. Easy. Or wedging I, up your foot. I've done that before. Well, do you know what? I didn't use my foot pedal. Ah, okay. I didn't. You can use yeah. the foot pedal. But and, now normally, I, if somebody comes to one of my quilting workshops and says, I don't use the foot pedal, for piecing, not an issue. For free motion quilting, it's an issue. Because you can't be taking your hands off to work the button. Yeah. But with your stitch regulator, if you're using the start stop button, when you press start, it just goes like this. It marks time just like this. Ah, until you and then it. you start sewing and it instantly speeds up. And then when you get to the end of the line, it just goes mark time, mark time. And you can then just very calmly press the stop and you haven't done like 40 stitches it's on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, next time you're here, yeah. have a go. Okay. It's awesome. Sally Ann, it's been an absolute joy to spend oh, it's two lovely. hours with you. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. Great to see yeah. you. You and, take care. Uh, yeah, see you soon. Yeah. Happy Easter if I don't see you before. <laughs> um, I'm going to see you after the break. It's a date. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. 
You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. It's our last hour on Sewing Street. Where does the time go? It's been such a busy morning and what a great morning it's been. Just wonderful with Sally Ann Harrison and Yvonne McAtamney from Village Fabrics. Just been brilliant. Right, our last hour is largely about the perfect cushion. You thought it didn't exist? Stick around. But I'm going to start actually with something a little bit different. I've got two new panels from Moda. These are right up my street. I think they might be right up your street too uh, because I can't resist anything that's bee themed. And look, honeybees and flowers, please. Kind words are honey sweet to the soul. Um, look up the top, when the flower blooms, the bees will come. That could be a long cushion. This could be one wall hanging. Um, sweet as can be. These could be blocks that you alternate with piecing. Uh, you belong among the wildflowers. Gorgeous. Uh, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Look at all the detail. Be humble, be true inside a wreath. Every single one of these is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? You could use these as cushion panels. They're a little smaller. Um, I would put borders around them. Um, or you could put multiples together to create your cushions. You could also use them as quilt blocks. There might be elements that you think, actually, what I want to do is put bonder web behind that and um, cut it out. I, I wouldn't try and cut out individual leaves. I would cut a smooth line and then applique that to a background. You could do that too. I love the selvedge. Look, little bees. I'm into using those. Um, and again, you have got six of these sort of largely square elements. I like the fact though, that you haven't got like a cut line or a bleed line around these. So if you wanted to, you know, you can use them how you want. But then I do love this section at the top. I think that's got to be either a long cushion, maybe with some pom-pom trim or tassels, or it could be the header or the top edge of a wall hanging. I think I would still cut these out, add some piecing, but maybe still have it as one long wall hanging. But I think I might still cut it apart. I think I need some new batteries, by the way. <laughs> Not for me, you understand, just for the voice in my ear. <laughs> right. There we go, I'm back. Right, so that is the um, first of two. This is called Honey and Lavender in Charcoal, and it's $10.99. What a great price for seven different elements. It's really lovely, isn't it? And very usable. I can imagine so many different ways that I would use that. Gorgeous on the charcoal background. I do have a second option, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, you could, of course, combine the two panels together uh, and that would make it even more for your money. Uh, right. So let's pop that to one side. This. Oh. You're loving these. They are gorgeous. We've had lots of lovely new fabric today, haven't we? The, the first hour, the, the secret garden and the Dan Morris with the rabbits and the chicks. Love those collections. 
So this is the gorgeous sort of honey colored background. This is the honey background. And again, you've got when the flowers bloom, the, the sorry, when the flower, flower blooms, the bee will come. You could add little stitch details. You could add little beads. You could add French knots. You couldn't you, you could add little elements. I'm just thinking, uh, we've got these in a second, but I'm just, they happen to be nearby. And then you've got those six different elements. What about the stripe? For a sashing in between, that would work. That would so work. Yeah, uh, sweet as can be. Don't they look different as well? I'm just going to grab the charcoal and show you the self-same design. I'm thinking I'd do both. Hello. Sounds like a gunshot. <laughs> it wasn't. Don't worry. It was just Dan making his presence known. There we go. Oh, but look, can you imagine piecing these together? Uh, yeah. Lovely. Which is your, are you team yellow, team honey, or team charcoal? I need to know. Chris is team honey. Hannah, team honey. Dan, team charcoal. Dan's team charcoal. Yeah, Jimmy, charcoal. Honey, you're honey. You're the honey. Hey, I don't know. I'm, I'm team both. I, can I be team both? I make up the rules here. I like both. <laughs> but yeah, it's absolutely lovely, isn't it? Brand new from Moda, 10.99 per panel. I think this is a bit of a why choose when you could have both. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, we have got um, my uh, Blue Skies and Nutmeg fabrics by the half meter in the show. And you could make some really gorgeous cushions or home deck projects. I've got a few examples here, actually. We're going to start off with this stripe. Oh, my goodness. Really, really limited stock. Two and a half metres left. <laughs> now, it, it, yeah, genuinely, it is $4.99 per half metre. That is not a sale price. That is the real price. It, it is great value. I'm proud of that. It is beautiful quality too. I wouldn't put my name on anything that wasn't beautiful quality. And I'm rigorous in testing the quality of the things that I work with and put my name to. This is beautiful quality, 100% cotton. This is a yarn dyed woven stripe. This isn't printed. This is great on both sides. You can use both sides. If you're making something like a shacket and you want something that looks great inside and outside, then the woven fabrics are perfect because the inside's as good as the outside. This is perfect for things like bindings, sashings, piecing as well, of course. Um, Pajamas would be lovelier. Look, I've used a little bit. Oops, sorry. Use a little bit in this. Okay, now, we'll do the checks next. The blue, do the blue check ne next. Um, I had some clothing that was here. <laughs> Let me just, I might have knocked it onto the floor. I'll be back, I'll be back. Sorry. Hmm. No, the clothing. I had children's clothing made out of all of these fabrics. Some dresses, a shirt. It's under the table. Thanks, Dan. Cheers. Wonderful. Right, just wanted to show you, look. A little, a little shirt. <laughs> How cute is that? Could be pajamas. Could be a little shirt for wearing out. Oh, would be lovely, yeah. With little brown shorts, very cute. Leather sandals, absolutely, absolutely adorable. 100% cotton, of course. Uh, 
Again, 100% cotton. This would also be really lovely for quilt making, of course. Um, I designed the range to be absolutely compatible with quilt making, with bag making, with home decor, soft furnishings as well. So mix and match. Again, yarn dyed woven check. Quarter of the stock's gone. So this is not only good on one side, it's good on both sides. This would also be really, really lovely for something like light drapes or bedding as well. You could do uh, pillowcases or maybe um, a bed skirt, something like that, a valance, picnic blanket or tablecloths. Yeah, you could do tie backs. Tie backs would be lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, just to introduce a little bit of colour and you've got that golden sort of maize coloured uh, weave in there as well. Now then, um, I've got the other check, yep. So this one I have used in a bag. Let me show you the, that. So I've done a messenger bag, okay? And so what I did was I used this plaid for the main body of the bag and I cut that out on the straight of grain and I used that for the front and the back and also for the base. And I <laughs> more or less matched the pattern up. I didn't do a great job, did I? Didn't do a great job, but I tried. I tried. But on the sides, because there's definitely no way I was going to match the plaids up on the side. But look, on the side, I actually cut the fabric out on the bias. Now, you might be thinking, oh, my goodness, didn't it stretch? Well, I, I wasn't playing with it. I wasn't throwing it around. I cut it out and then I fused it straight away to some bosel in our form, which made it completely stable. I really like how that looks with the bias up against the straight of grain. And then I just chose one of the florals to create the flap and the shoulder strap. A message. Hi Stuart, could you please put your blended spot fabric next to the B panel? I love your choice of fabrics from Cheryl. First of all, thank you very much Cheryl. Lovely to have your company today. And yes, of course I will. Um, the blended spot. That's this one right here. And I'm gonna grab the B panels. So I'm gonna get both the honey and the charcoal. Oh, this goes really nicely. So I'm gonna open this out. Oh, look at that. Cheryl, you spotted that. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna grab the charcoal one because, hello, hello. Yeah, actually that is really nice. That's really nice. That's lovely. Works with both. Works with both, doesn't it? What's lovely actually about the blended spot, I think, is that so many multi-tonals of those kind of honey, warm tones that it picks up. It doesn't have to match anything. It's got the silver in there as well, the top. It doesn't have to exactly match because there's so many different blended shades that it does, it will match. The hardest thing is when you're trying to match a solid to another colour. Then if it doesn't match, then you might as well contrast. They belong together. Am I right? You belong. <laughs> Wasted here. Wasted here. Right, thank you. Hope that helps, Cheryl. Anything else I can do, you just let me know. So that's the blended spot. Now, I've also got... Now, these are... Well, in my original design, these were little eggs. These were little eggs. So they're sort of abstract, abstracted eggs. In fact, I might just turn that this away up. So you can sort of see the little egg shape almost, but um, then abstracted to create 
this uh, design. It's one of my favorites, actually. It's one of my favorites. Blue Skies and Nutmeg, the range, was really inspired by being on the farm and being out in nature and just the wonderful kind of healing, good for the soul, just makes your, makes your heart glad kind of feelings you get when you're outside. And I think that's whether you're outside in the garden or just walking, I don't know, walking to the bus stop, just being in the fresh air, hopefully, or seeing the sky just makes your heart sing, doesn't it? You know, it's not always about being down on the farm, but, you know, I do like that. But yeah, just that fuzzy feeling about being outside and also cool. And then, but it also makes me think of being in the kitchen and baking or, you know, just there's something good in the oven. Yeah, the Sunday roast, the, you know, a fruit cake baking in the oven and, you know, Mrs. Mills sitting on my lap, giving her a little stroke. Oh, lovely. For anyone that doesn't know, by the way, Mrs. Mills is a cat. <laughs> uh, let's do the floral in uh, yellow, in the golden yellow. So I've used this one in a number of different ways. I used it for the flap on my messenger bag. And of course, for this, you need about a 10 inch square to make that. So you don't need a lot to create all that impact, you know, and personality. I also used this same fabric for a dress. I'm going to show you the dress next. So this, it's like a pinafore dress. Lovely little pinafore pockets if you want to make the bag by the way this bag I used my essential messenger bag pattern from bags for life now if you haven't already got bags for life have a look on the website we will also be featuring it on the show on Sunday this Sunday um, because um, we're doing a celebration of William Morris and I've used another pattern from the bag, a hobo bag pattern, which I will be showing you um, at the weekend. So it's in that book uh, if you want to get it. Now, um, beautiful little pinafore dress, so cute. Um, I also used, it's one of my favourites, I also used it for this bag right here, which is, you know, easy peasy, zippy pouch, you know, nothing hard here. But rather than just using one fabric, um, I just seamed five pieces of fabric together in strips. Just elevates the project, doesn't it? So this bag, look, and I've lined it with the check. So just lovely. So in this bag, I would put things like you could use this as a knitting bag. It could be toiletries. It could be socks and underwear when you're going away. You could keep a little sewing project in here. It could be, you know, bits and bobs that you always chuck in your tote bag when you're going out shopping. It could be purse, notebook, keys, all that sort of thing that you just want to chuck in there. You could also add little D-rings and a shoulder strap to this and wear it over your shoulder if you wanted, but just simple, easy, and let the fabric do the talking. Right, that's the yellow. There's another floral in the blue. I, um, I use this for the border of a quilt. I also use this one um, on this bag right here, which I'll show you. So here's the same bag as before, but I've just used a different combination of fabrics for this. And then lined, they go in the woven egg. <laughs> Lovely, really had fun. And then there's the fabric. I um, also actually used this to make a little dress. So same idea as the little pinafore dress. Look, how cute is that? Could be little dungarees, little pocket, and you've got little tie shoulders with little knots. I did somewhere on my Instagram, I did actually put a link to the pattern for these because they are very cute. It's a commercial dressmaking pattern. Um, Stuart Hillard makes, if you want to follow me on Instagram. I should say I should say this more often. Please don't try to follow me on Facebook because Facebook won't let me have any more friends. You can't have too many friends, but apparently Facebook won't let me have any more. I've reached the maximum number of friends. So um, much better actually to follow me on, on Instagram, Stuart Hillard makes. Um, 
I'm being teased in my ear. Um, now, amount, fabric amount wise, if you want to do children's wear, I'd go anywhere between one, one and a half to two meters. It's, it depends what you're making, what the size of the child is. But something like this, you're probably going to make out of about a meter of fabric. Um, uh, but if you wanted to use this to make an adult dress, then you might be looking at two and a half to three meters. But I really was thinking of, you know, all sorts of different dressmaking, home deck applications. Again, the price is right. It's four ninety nine for a half meter. Yeah, it is. It is. Right. Um, now we've got a few more fabrics. We've got the um, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, apparently it was the chicken because the chicken produces something in its body that makes the egg shell. So without the chicken, you can't make. Let's not go there, Hannah. I'm not debating it. <laughs> Here's the chicken and egg. So you've got the chicken. You've got the egg. Um, I use this fabric for my tote bag. I mean, it is literally two. Well, it's one long rectangle of fabric, but I just made it from upper band, main, little thin band, base, and then repeated, and then just folded it in half, seamed the sides, boxed the corners, and then I used a T-plate to round out the center. Did the same with the lining, except it's just two fabrics, look. And then um, sewed on some handles at the end. So easy, but it looks lovely. $4.99 for that. I also used this. Dan, I think you might have just taken my little dungarees away. Bring back my dungarees, please. Bring back my... Or are you putting them on to model? Ah, okay. Okay. I think we might have made those for an 18-month-old toddler. But, I mean, if you can squeeze in. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect to say that on live TV. Dan, you've taken my dungarees. But look, we made these little, little dungarees. I wear dungarees all the time on the farm. Got a little pocket uh, with the chicken applique on as well. So cute. So cute. And of course, this, I did design these to go with the little check shirt as well for when one is down on the farm. But yeah, great fun. Great fun. Again, 4 99 and a half meter. That's the chicken egg. And then same thing in blue. Very, very low in stock, this one. Very low in stock. I mean, the world loves blue. I love blue. But I do love the brown as well. I think it's got, it's warm. It's like a um, melted chocolate color, isn't it? So that's in the blue. And do you see as well, the background is a sort of micro check. I don't know if you can see that, but the background is like a micro check. Very, very tiny. Do you see? Is it a little bit weird on camera? The camera's doing a great job. Stop! Not my eggs! Yeah, I do. Yeah, I voice the, voice the chickens. Um, if you look at an egg long ways from the base, it's round. That's what I thought when I was designing it. Cheeky. Chris just said in my ear, Though, those aren't egg shaped. Well, who's the expert on eggs now, Chris? Goodness gracious me. Um, and then last of all, <laughs> like a kind of ticking stripe. I'm obsessed with ticking stripes. I think they're just gorgeous. They're real sort of reminiscent of the country, aren't they? And they look lovely with florals as well. I use this fabric around the top of my bag here. And also is this little, I love using a stripe for a little narrow border, a binding, a flange, something like that. And uh, I also used it, of course, for the lining. Again, this one's a woven stripe, so it's good front and back. So that's blue skies and nutmeg. 
Really, thank you. Uh, glad you like them, Hannah. I hope you like them too. Um, right, some instructions. Oh, yeah, they would. So, yeah. So this is um, Delphine's Union Jack cushion pattern. Now, of course, you can make this in traditional colours, red, white and blue. Um, but also, they, this would look really lovely done in Blue Skies and Nutmeg, either in the blue colourway, in the golden colourway, or a mixture of the two. I've made um, something similar, and I made it all in neutrals, like all in creams and browns. That looks really lovely too. You could use shirts, you could use special fabrics. You get your foundations. 24th of the 10th in 2021. Gorgeous, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. 9.99, you could do a quilt, couldn't you? You could do a quilt, yeah, absolutely lovely. 9.99 from Delphine. What else should we do? Mm, oh, I have. Oh yes, the National Gallery, let's do those. Got two. Oh yeah, these are lovely. So this is new National Gallery. This is the Impressionism cushion panel. Oh, wow. I like these. Right, look, so we've got uh, Georges Seurat, Bathers uh, at Asnières. I can't even say it. I'm just going to call them Bathers. The Bathers. These are National Gallery. These are a tie-in with the National Gallery. You've also got the Morning Walk. That's uh, Georges Seurat as well. Okay, and then you've got uh, the rainbow. That's called the rainbow. That's Georges Surratt as well. I think, I, quit while you're ahead, Chris. None of them are by Monet, okay? I'm just going to give you a, a, a clue. None of them are by Monet. Um, and this one, who's it by, Monet? No, nope. no. Nope. Camille Pizarro. Pizarro. Late afternoon in the meadow, in our meadow, in fact. Yeah. Three by Surratt and then this one by Pizarro. We're going to crash the price at $14.99. I don't think so. Uh, $11.99 today. It's only been on once before. Lovely. Four cushion fronts. You could piece them into a panel. Uh, you could make a quilt, a wall hanging. 100% cotton. Create your own art gallery. You could also, um, I would back this with something like H640 and then wrap it around an art frame. Staple it to the back um, and then hang it on the wall. Yeah, beautiful piece of fabric art. I've um, got a message from Susie in, uh, is Susan, is this? Susan in Worcestershire. Stuart, I bought a bag of your fabrics from you at the NEC last year and have just made a baby quilt for my newborn grandson. Gorgeous fabric. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Send me a picture. Lovely. I've got a second panel. This again is from the National Gallery and this is called Still Life. 14.99. Oh, this is a bit of me. These are gorgeous, dark, dramatic. This is um, Van Brussel, Flowers in a Vase. That's absolutely delicious. The depth of color is amazing. It almost looks like velvet. Then we've got this one called Still Life with Lemons in a Wicker Basket. It is what the title says. It is Lemons in a Wicker Basket. Then this one right here, oh, that's delicious. That's Paul Gauguin. This is called A Vase of Flowers. The colours are amazing, aren't they? And then last of all, you've got, uh, this is just called a still life. A still life. Asparagus, fruit, and was that a lobster? Wow. Uh, let's, oh, let's crash the price. There it is, $11.99. Not $14.99, $11.99 today. Very nice, thank you. 
Again, if you were buying those as a made-up cushion, can you imagine what you'd pay? And I would team those perhaps with some solids. You could use a really dark elephant grey, perhaps, um, for, for the backing, for an envelope back. I would maybe put some piping cord or decorative cord around the outside, really sort of frame them as they are a piece of art. They need a little frame around them, don't they? Okay, that's my two art panels. Can we do the animals next? These are on like a canvas style fabric. Let's start off with blue tits. Amazing value, these two ninety nine. Oh, actually, just one blue tit uh, on a blossom branch. Very cute. Two ninety. The price is amazing, isn't it? These are about 16 inches square, I think, 47 centimetres square. Lovely for a cushion or a bag front. Yeah, really nice. Now, next up, horses. A horse, a horse. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. Very atmospheric, isn't it? <laughs> Hannah just said in my ear, oh, that's really atmospheric. It's like, no, Hannah, no. It's not. Very atmospheric. It's beautiful. Two ninety nine again. Two ninety nine again. Um, we don't often do horse fabric. And actually, it's a bit of a gap because, because there's so many people that love their horses, that have horses. And they, do, they are just magnificent animals. Talking of magnificent elephant. <coughs> oh, Chris, I didn't mean you, honestly. And the elephant, the elephant, the heifalump, the heifalump. <laughs> Yeah, gorgeous. You can just, the power, the, the, just the movement. You can see it there, can't you? They are magnificent, majestic animals. I'd like to go on a safari one day. I'd like to see a, go on a safari and see, you know, these amazing animals in the wild. I love the way that you can sort of, you can almost feel the texture of the skin, can't you? Of the elephant skin. Absolutely cool. Lovely. Two ninety nine per panel. And again, great for bags or cushions. And then I'd team them probably with a cotton canvas. And then last of all, the giraffe. Did you see recently there was, was it a chest zoo or something there was a baby giraffe born and it was all caught on camera so you can watch the video of it being born oh brought a tear to brought it oh it was a long way down when it when it finally sort of plopped out it really was a long way but then the mother was straight over it looking after it and oh it's lovely 2.99 chewing or potentially saying, uh, 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 uh. Was, was, that a, was that a baby? Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me? Who are you? Where did you come from? Don't think about it. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Now. Mmm, oh, the velvet cushions. This was from um, Delphine. I've got three here. I've got three. Right, three colourways. This is, now I'm just going to grab the cushions. I've got two. The strawberry thief. Yep. So this one here, the strawberry thief, it actually feels like it's been stuffed with dumbbells <laughs> or <s> <laughs> anyway you get the impression you get enough fabric to make two the value is amazing under 20 pounds for this including the pattern now uh, Delphine demonstrated this um, on 
let me see, 21st of February this year. So you get, yeah, this is all velvet. You get your William Morris Strawberry Thief velvet. You get your lilac velvet. And then you also get this gorgeous, almost like um, dusky pink. Isn't that pretty? And then to piece with it, you get white cotton solid. So you piece it all together. You get fat eighths uh, or long eighths, maybe. Are they? I'll show you. Look, there's your fat, that's your fat eighth. That's the size. So you get a lot of fabric. So you get three of those in the velvet and then you get half a meter of the plain white. Yeah. Fab. Mm, mm. Gorgeous, plus your pattern, of course, for 19.99. For 19.99. Gorgeous. Now, I've got a couple of other options, actually, which are rather lovely. Uh, this next one. Ooh, look. Oh, love that. Very rich. It's almost like jewel bright, isn't it? A little bit of embroidery on here this time. Yeah, love that. So you get... Oh, look at that. That's a printed velvet. Isn't it amazing? That's folded in half, by the way. I'll just open it out. That's just beautiful. You also get your deep, like a wine red. And then you also get your royal blue. You get your half meter of white and you get your pattern again for 19.99. It's just stunning. These are real kind of jewel bright colors. Love that, love that. And just look at the vibrancy of that printed velvet fabric. It is lovely. Plus your pattern, of course. You could, of course, repeat the, the cushion um, in regular quilt weight cottons as well. So you're getting a pattern that you can use again and again. Then the last option is a solid option. So three different shades. So if you love your jewel tones, but you want something that's a little kind of sharper, simpler, then go for this one. So you get your deep navy blue, you get your bottle green, and you also get your magenta plus your white cotton solid and your pattern for 19.99. Oh, it's a hard choice. Actually, these would all go really nicely together as well. You could mix and match. This one and the previous kind of jungle themed one, they would go really nicely together. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, let me grab this. Let me grab the panel, got that. So this is sash comb. The instructions for this are printed on the bottom of the panel. How magnificent is that? Is this Cara? Is this our Cara? Absolutely wonderful. 14th of March, just a few days ago. This is amazing. Let me just show you, it's about to sell out. I'll be really quick. Look, you've got the design printed just very faintly on the panel so you can follow the stitching lines. You've also got your backing fabrics as well, plus instructions for how to do the whole thing. You also, I think, have got extras. Oh, look, you've got this. And um, although you don't get instructions for making it into a pouch, look, this is what you could make. That's awesome. And look, you get the lining as well. But you'll need to just, you know, you if you know how to make a pouch, you can make this up as a pouch. If not, you could turn it into a pin cushion. You could use it as a pocket on something. You could use it to make, yeah, just a fabric in your stash. It's cute. It's just lovely. Um, two great projects for $14.99. This is magnificent. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, like that. Now there's also a panel to make the same things, but this time in blue. Uh, I'm just gonna find that. 
I suspect this might be on the trolley. No. Oh, yes, got that. Thank you. Oh, this is lovely sort of teal colour. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. Really nice. Now, this sold out on the day. We've managed to restock, though. Gorgeous. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Kind of a teal, isn't it? Or a petrol. And then you can see you've got your printing. It's subtle on this background. It's easier to see sort of in, in the flesh, as it were. But it's subtle because it doesn't wash out. It'll stay there. So you want to be able to cover that with your stitching. So it's enough to see, but it won't show once you've done your stitching. And of course, you do also get full instructions printed across the bottom to do your sashko, but also to create your envelope back. There are single figures left of this panel. If you want this, you do need to be quick because it's about to sell out. It sold out on the day. This is the restock. It's about to sell out again. That tealy petrol colour is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Now, Pollyanna Pickering. This is the tiger. This is the tiger. Oh, love the colour. So, no instructions, but this is a simple panel front for your cushion. Two panels for your envelope back. You've also got some extras here some smaller images. You could create a pin cushion. You could create a little pouch bag. You've got some labels as well. Uh, so actually, you know, you've got a lot of value there. Uh, you could add some quilting. You could add some embellishments. You could add embroidery stitches, either by hand or machine, to really sort of personalise that. This is using original artwork from Pollyanna Pickering, who, um, if you saw the show recently, um, uh, that I did. Absolutely incredible wildlife artist. If you want to see that original show, it was the 21st of February. Yeah, just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And tigers, you know, so many people feel a sort of connection, don't they, with tigers. They are magnificent animals. One of my best mates has just walked into the studio. Come and say a quick hello, Pauline. It's Auntie Pauline, everybody. Come on. Hello, my hello, darling. Hello, my darling. Mwah. Now, oh, 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 oh sorry. Went, oh, we got, oh. I went in for the second. Oh. Hello. Hello. Um, more importantly. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hello. Now, Gorgeous. I've never made a chocolate cake before. Right. But it's... it's, it's Should I be worried, out. Pauline? It's got crushed multi... multi little multi-balls on the top. That's it. Mm. Multi, multi-covered balls. Mm. <laughs> Good. Otherwise known as Maltesers. Yeah. Good. Thank My you. My favourite. Oh, delicious. It's gone, it's gone well, down well. I bet it has. So we're uh, enjoying. Well, most of the people here are absolutely starving. They haven't, they've been working since six o'clock this morning. They'll eat anything. Rock, oh, that sounds awful. I just rock, rock up with cake. <laughs> are you on Hobby Maker this afternoon? I am. We've got goodie boxes. Oh, I love a goodie box. I love a goodie box. What time too. are you on? One, four, and seven. If the stock lasts, lasts. it's quite low. The anticipation then, I didn't know what you were going to say. I know. If the I stock know. explodes, you know, yeah. no, it won't do that. It's, it's gone so well. Oh, fantastic. But it was only launch Tuesday, so yeah. I mean, it hasn't been as popular as your chocolate cake, clearly. Well, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Stay tuned, won't you? When we go off air at one o'clock, Pauline will be on our sister channel, Hobby Maker. You don't need to touch that dial. Just keep watching. Make yourself a little cup of tea. Something to go with your chocolate cake. Enjoy. Thank you, Pauline. Bye. See you later. Wonderful. Right. That's our tiger. Oh, next, Pollyanna. Panda. The panda. Oh, the panda's gorgeous. Which I love the green on this panel. Look, that is stunning. That is stunning, isn't it? Hello. Hello. Excuse me. What are you looking at? <laughs> gorgeous. So you've got your image, centre image. 
You've got your two pieces for your envelope back. You've also got this sort of deeper green version and your grey version as well. Pandas only eat certain amount or certain types of bamboo, don't they? I think that, I don't know if it's that they're fussy or whether it's just particular ones that they they can only eat. But anyway, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Now, Helen Newton's classic beach hut. Uh, let me see now. A pretty, no, beach huts. Beach huts I've got. No, it's not that, is it? Okay. I've got one bundle. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got things behind me as well. Yep, got it. Here we go. I got it, I got it. Right, here we go. Right, so this is Helen Newton. Beach Huts cushion cover and wall hanging. Um, and let me just show you. So you get your background fabric. There's a metre and a half. Wow, there's lots of lovely fabric here. Last June. Oh, I'm going to hold this up so you can see. Look. Look, though, look. The beach is actually like sort of sandy with shells on. Can you see? And the sky. Look. And you've got all your applique fabrics. You've got your red and white stripe. That's for your beach hut and your border. Look over here, all your different elements. You've got your beach huts, you've got your flags, you've got all the little elements there. Um, plenty of fabric to do this with. What a brilliant value kit. Because if you had to source all those different, especially those stripes and the sky fabric, the beach fabric, now, we don't have many. We don't have many. I've got 20 kits. That's all. And, um, and that was a special restock. One and a half metres of backing fabric, that massive panel as well of all your applique and border fabrics, plus your instructions. And of course, these instructions have got all of your templates in as well. So... Once you've done this, you could repeat it. I mean, what about a long table runner? That would be fun, or a wall hanging. You could do little minis. It, I mean, just lovely. 14 of these left, six have instantly flown into baskets and been checked out. I've also got a really lovely kind of more pastel version. Hey, Nigel. Nigel May's in the house, ready for Hobby Maker. Can you handle Pauline Wheeler? She's in a mood today. She's a two-man job, I may need you. <laughs> I'm available, I can help. Nigel May there. Uh, look, we've got this gorgeous sort of pastel, almost corals and pinks. That is stunning. Oh, I love the ice cream fabric. That is so cute. Loads of gorgeous different motifs there. Uh, to create your very own Helen Newton uh, beach huts. Now there are only 20 of these kits available. So if you want the more pastel version of beach huts or pink version, uh, you will need to be pretty quick. We need to do the menu. We need to see what's on tomorrow. It's a, it's a packed day actually. We're starting off with guests right from 8 a.m. tomorrow. I'll be here at 8 a.m with Delphine Brooks for the Sanderson Garden Path Quilt. What a beauty that is. 9 a.m. we've got the Decoupage Collection Quilt with Amanda Little. That is lovely too. A lot of lovely work tomorrow. 10 a.m. Delphine's back with the Amelie and Fleur bag. And at 11 o'clock, Amanda Little returns for her second show, Sewing Room Makes. 12 o'clock, I have got the full decoupage collection of fabrics for sale by the half meter and in bundles. So that, to me, looks like a spring, summer, gorgeous day. I can't wait to spend it with you. Have a great afternoon. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for Hobby Maker with Nigel May and Pauline Wheeler, his first guest. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early.
Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel.